Yes. 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 Hi, everybody. Hello. We are live, as I just warned the crew about. And then <laughs> we got a whole reply of yeses that no one's going to understand. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> uh, but thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for showing up for Dungeons and Demon Slayers. I don't know why the PDS chat is not properly working on the channel. Like, it should be showing up on the channel. I don't, on, on the little thing, god dang it, screams and goat as replied to pig mask. What the hell, Eva? All right, so, uh. She's been playing too much Dead by Daylight. I swapped, really, okay, well, that's a thing. Okay, I swapped over, uh, to a new computer, so everything is new in the setup, and I apologize if certain things are not working properly as they should be. I do I genuinely do not know what is going on uh, with the chat. I will get that fixed immediately. So, uh, bear with me as I fix things. Because I has to. Uh, I mean, but it wouldn't be a Dungeons and Demon Slayers without technical difficulty. You're not wrong. You're not. It wouldn't be a PDS stream ever if it weren't for this. So... I don't know why I'm not seeing the chat at all. Why am I seeing? But why though? Why Why am I seeing? Okay. I'm right. It is on freaking Fat Dog, right? Like I'm not losing. Yeah, my it's mind. the Fat Dog Studios. Okay, because I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the chat at all on any of the things that are connected to Fat Dog. I don't know why. Did Did somebody go through and mess with all the things? Please don't mess with all the things. I'm going to have to stab somebody if they went through and messed with all the things. All right, I got to go into Streamlabs now because oh, the no. because apparently like four things changed. Look, I went to sleep for 4 hours. What did you do, internet? Okay. Uh You think you guys think Tony can be salty. Oh boy. Like Get ready for it. I don't need an introduction. I know what I'm doing on these. Please stop. Please, just please, please stop doing the evil things to me. Dungeons and Demon Slayers. Yes, chat properties. Let me just go back over here and copy paste. And pal. Hopefully, hopefully messages start showing up. I don't know what to tell you guys. I am I, I am apologetic about this. I don't know what is going on. Like, everything was set up properly, and now everything's gone to hell? No uh, So, I, I mean, maybe I'm going to have to put the actual chat itself up on the screen, because reasons... Yeah, I mean, if, if you have to, you, you just put it I over. I don't the... know what is going on. None of the chat boxes are showing anything That's at the weird. moment. Mm. Like, it's really, really wrong how oh this is goodness. not working. Properties. Defaults. That's kind of creepy. Oh, my God. I'm going to need to refresh real funny. Paste. <clears throat> Yeah, is anybody having issues with World 20 now? Uh, just... no. no. Okay, then. It sounds like well, it's just nice. you. It's like... I mean, what issue are you having? You... Describe okay. it. Streamlabs. So what it's like everybody here? is like in the center of the map. <laughs> like, the, not like the, not the uh, coins, but the... But the what? Like the, the like, avatar portraits? Yeah, the avatar. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having, I'm having that too now. It re just I just updated it, and I, it, I refreshed it, and now it's doing that for me. Like everybody's big and blocking the screen. Yeah. Okay, I don't understand why this isn't showing the chat anymore. So does this that mean I have weird. to? That's. I, I mean, I, uh, check your settings and see if like it's the. Uh, why uh, the chat suddenly? 
why did the chat box suddenly change? Like player video avatar location and uh, size mm. under chat avatars and game settings. Check that and see if that has been tweaked with because maybe Roll20 did an update on y'all and things got moved around. Yep, that's what it was. Got it fixed. Where do you see that at? Um, go to <laughs> it's the, under settings. Um, yeah, go to the oh, little... Oh, dear God. Gear on well, settings it finally showed up. Right. I got the chat working. Hey! What are you saying, Hawk? Um, oh no. my god, I just saw that. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm messaging. Right. Uh, all the messages come in at once, I love it. Holy shit, that okay, was I got not it. okay. Got it. Thank you. That was ugly. That was really fast, and I did not mm. like that. Yeah, it was bad. I had nothing to do with it, man. You, you can't blame me. I didn't do anything right, for a bit. We'll blame whatever program that you were using. OBS? Uh, OBS. Uh, actually, bad OBS. Bad. Uh, Streamlabs is who you should yell at. I don't know why it's... I'll I'll pull out the, the spray bottle and the newspaper, and they and will the door. know. Bad Streamlabs. Bad. Don't okay. forget the door. Shit. <laughs> that was scary for multiple reasons. Just saying. But now we got everything fixed. Well, as... As good as we can make it. As as, as good as it's going to get. We we, mm. we got it to fat dog level of fixed. Let's be honest. So we duct taped it. Got yes. it. It's, I don't know how you duct tape a chat, but we did it. <laughs> don't ask us how we could not possibly do uh, this again. Okay, first off, we're. In, uh, I believe we blame Carson normally. For this. No, we blame uh, no, Val. I'm not, I'm not going to blame anybody for this. I know whose fault it was. It was mine. Okay, so we should prop now that everything is is as fixed as Let's it's gonna get. We should show. probably yeah, we should probably yeah. start the show. Uh, <laughs> quick update, quick update for uh, the Log Horizon Abridged Christmas Special. If you didn't know, that's what Project Cave is. We made the public announcement. Log Horizon Abridged Christmas Special, everybody. Uh, there is, we we're not doing it during this, but we are gonna be raising money yet again for this special because. As it turns out, we need fully closed mouth things in order to flap them. Uh, right now, it just looks like a really, really good animatic, which is which is nice. But we wanted the characters to actually look like they were talking, and so we need them properly flapped. The good news is that's not going to cost nearly as much since we're only doing one thing, and it's like, um, let me go back and check the, um, let me check the convo I had with Ira, and. Okay, and she already sent me the invoice. There are 24 images that require a completely closed mouth shot. And that is going to only cost $48. So it's not, like, crazy expensive. We don't need, like, a lot of money. But, I mean, it's it's $48 as soon as we have that. Now, it's 48 in total. What we're The goal that we're going to try to raise is about, like, somewhere around 55 just to make sure that when PayPal, you know, takes its portion of it, we still have enough to pay the complete invoice. So I'm just sh I'm just overshooting for 55 just to be on the safe side. So want to be clear about why I'm gonna say hey we need to raise 55 dollars instead of the actual 48. All right, not trying to hide anything from anybody. I want you guys to be as clear on the process as possible. So uh, the overall goal is 55 dollars, and then we can work. I, I can send her the invoice for that, and essentially it should take almost no time at all. But the Log Horizon Abridged Christmas special is a mouthful, first and foremost. Uh, and it's about 80% done. Uh, we just recorded uh, some pickups recently, and we'll be recording pickups for it all week long. And I'm just going to go ahead and apologize to the crew. I'm sorry if I'm not paying attention. I do have to record pickups during this with people, so I will be I will be muted on one end, uh, trying to type directions on another because I can't just jump into a separate call because I'm streaming this. So, mm -hmm. if <laughs> if I wasn't, I'd be like, hey, I'll be back in like five minutes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, thinking about it, I may have to do it after. But I've got to record pickups. Shit. How late is Bryce staying up? Doesn't he live in the East Coast? See. Fuck. Yeah, he doesn't live far from me. He had to want to get it done Monday. The worst day. 
Alrighty. Let's get down to business. To defeat the, the doors. Yeah, I was gonna say demons. Yeah, not, 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 the, not the doors. Not the doors. Oh, not, okay. I'm That's not going to war with doors, okay? No, I'm on Otsuko in this one. We need to fuck the doors. Exactly. No, 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 no I mean, no. you. Reikoku, you, you're on your own with this battle against the doors. You have no part of it. Yeah. Hashtag right. team window. <laughs> Hashtag team window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, Ray, 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 Ray Koku's one and only Lord and Savior Windex. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. In one campaign, I have Lord Brosif of the Swoley Nation. Uh, uh, the Swoley Kingdom, and now we have Lord Windex. We have, we have the Holy, the Holy Trinity of Windex. So, so the ultimate would be Lord Brosif, uh, riding, uh, running up with a with an axe made of natty light, holding a bottle of Windex. Gotcha. <laughs> natty light, truly, truly the drink of legends. Do we have any other announcements? That was it. All right. So in yeah. Oh no. In, in that... I, I do need to plug one thing. I do need to plug one thing. If you guys okay. haven't watched it already, please go check episode two of One Piece Alabaster Bridged Out. Honestly, uh, considering that I've worked loosely on both of them, episode two is my favorite by far, and I think it it's deserves good. a lot more attention. We don't know if it's lack of attention or if it's additionally another person who can vouch for how amazing One Piece Alabasta Abridged is someone who voices in it. Who we have as a guest today. That's yeah, a transition. Yeah, so, so, no, we no, that was, no I'm, I'm not plugging it that way. I'm just saying uh, we don't know if it's YouTube's algorithm or whatever, or if it could it's be just lack of, of interest. Here. So please, ladies and gentlemen, go check that out. Spread the word. Share it. Let people know this fucking thing exists so that, uh, you know, I don't have to keep hearing it from Tony. <laughs> No, he he's not mad or salty. He's actually kind of depressed about it. So guys, uh, he thinks there's lack of interest entirely, and I'm like, clearly there was not a lack of interest from the previous episode. I think YouTube is screwing us. If it's YouTube screwing us, he's gonna be salty. If it's lack of interest, he's gonna be sad. Don't let him be sad. At least make him think that it's YouTube, so he can go back to being his his normal salty self. <laughs> he's gonna hate that I said that, but whatever. <laughs> it's too late. I can't take it back. You'll have to punch me in the face later. Ha! Which is never. No. Uh, at some point, he'll have to punch me in the face. We will oh. meet up in person again at some point. All right. But considering his memory, it probably won't happen. All right. I now turn. I now turn things over to our master of ceremonies. Uh, thank you. Thank you kindly. Uh, hello and welcome everybody to another session of Dungeons and Demon Slaying with. We actually have a special guest this time. If y'all haven't actually noticed the the token off in the the right corner, uh, we have a special guest today. Legend by Design, otherwise known as Cody Rock Vo, also wise known as Cody Chan, also known as Best Boy Sojiro. <laughs> so, uh, so when last we left off with the main party, the Sweet Cinnamon Bun team, uh, they were of a combat encounter with uh, a very injured man who was very clearly not thinking about the fact that he was injured uh and paid for that deal after yes after after uh deciding to arm himself with rake uh things went very poorly for him as the group was like oh he's picked up a weapon now take him down uh and after disabling him uh he was in dire straits uh with uh collapsed lung and a couple additional uh bruised ribs uh, some broken, uh, which point uh, Al Alco, uh, the head of the Butterfly Estate, came over, grabbed him, and took him away to get the urgent care center uh, and went ahead and patched up the party so that they would be not suffering grievously for their injuries. Uh, and the party left the Butterfly Estate to go shopping. Uh, Tenchi and Daisuke went to go pick up their swords that they had been uh, waiting on. As while Rei Koku and Atsuko went around the shopping district to go ahead and look, uh, in different left at different times. Sorry, left at different times because Hikaru was going with Atsuko, uh, as that she went shopping, and then Rei Koku was looking for gifts for his siblings, uh, finding nothing of of adequate lethal armament to give a thirteen year old. 
uh, and, and a six-year-old. Uh, or sorry, two thirteen-year-olds and a six-year-old. Let's be clear. Uh, he, uh, they, the shopkeeper advised him about candy. Uh, at which point Reikoku conceded and decided that he would come back when this guy had a list of sweets that he deemed suitable. Uh, and Atsuko had left off uh, where we left her uh, in a shop trying to debate whether to uh, like steal an object or to annoy the shopkeeper into giving it to her. Uh, and that is where we'll just kind of like quickly pick up just because I, I, I already know the save checks you're going to have to make for this Atsuko. It's not going to be easy. So feel free to attempt Great. Your, your, your methods. Well, excuse you. Whoever did that. Oh, oh. Salty. Yep, salty Rick. Salty. <laughs> salty Rick, you need to stop, my man. Please. Thanks. I wasn't live on the stream when I said all that, so like everybody's gonna be really confused. I just went, oh my god, Salty Rick has already raised the fucking money. So there we go. All right, the Christmas special is funded yet again. Uh you sent it to the wrong person, my guy. But sure, now it has to go through the process of like being sent through PayPal twice, bro. And the sad thing is you know which PayPal it had to go through because you have my personal PayPal. Good job, Salty. Mm. Well, gift horse and all that. Merry no, Christmas. No, no, it's 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 Rick. I'm gonna I'm gonna i I'm gonna be salty on Rick. Yeah. But he's only supposed to be salty. It's in his name. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. He gets. The, let, let, he, he, he is the lord the of sodium chloride. Who well, do you think? I, I who need... do you think delivers the salt? <laughs> but let's. No, but let's. Uh, please, what can so what do role does? You, what role do we need? Uh, that depends on her. Are you going to steal it, or are you going to again try and not like? Persuasion. Persuasion. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, that's that's a twenty. Natural or or twenty plus? Yeah, that's a get out twenty. Yeah. So it's a get out twenty. Okay. Uh, so how how are you going to persuade him? Use use your words and eloquence. Look. Mr. Shopkeeper guy, you seem like a pretty, pretty good guy. Am I wrong? Uh, well, I do consider myself to be a patron of the arts and all that, and a Joe and and a otherwise altruistic spirit. I see, I see. So, uh, I, I'm really wanting that axe, like really bad. So, could you like, please? <laughs> make that lower just for me what's what's your budget darling 200 yen he looks behind the counter for like going through a couple different things uh and pulls out a small dagger uh with it, it, it it's in a uh purple lacquered sheath uh with black vine designs crossing over it uh and he sets it out on the table and he's like this is Probably uh, price range. She just gives the shopkeeper a blank stares and uh, grabs Hikaru's hand and be like, have a nice day. <laughs> I mean, you're asking for like a, a $3,000 item for just 200 bucks. Just gives up. Have a nice day. Just takes Hikaru's hand and just goes. Hikaru just all right. is very confused. Uh, so as you all return to the hot springs, we'll go ahead and fast forward through the night uh, to the next day. Um, where as, as certain people did not arrive, uh, at the shop, uh, you all wake up finding, uh, as you all kind of like go down and have uh modest breakfast, you know, some rice and vegetables and some, uh, cooked fish, uh, you all find that there has been a package delivered to your inn. 
with the with uh, Ray Koku, Hikaru, and Atsuko's names on it. I like what how else? it just got totally quiet by the way. I was yeah, to say, I was like, it wasn't open, addressed to me. I'm not going to say anything. Just, well, I mean, it was it was addressed to all three of you. Atsuko, Hikaru, and Reikoku. Oh, well, then, he, uh, while they're deciding, Hikaru's already torn his open. Uh, inside is a kind of It's white modest, powder. Tell uh, me it's white powder. Please tell it's me not. it's white Damn it! Uh, it's it's very modest, uh, traditional black lacquered sheath. Um with a golden dragon moving through gray storm clouds uh, kind of painted onto the scabbard. Uh, the hilt itself is actually wrought iron wrapped in uh, black fur and cloth uh, with an iron handguard that looks like a dragon uh, chasing its tail. Uh-huh. Uh, the As you draw out the blade, its typical steel color uh, immediately changes as is want for Nichiren blades. Uh, and the blade adopts a dull golden color uh, that seems to have like small flecks and, and pinpricks of bright gold in it. Uh, it actually seems to kind of almost, as you move it across the light, it almost seems like it the gray is moving like living storm clouds in the blade. Huh. Uh, I will open mine like carefully. Uh, okay. I resheathed the sword and put it on my left waist yeah man. uh Atsuko, yours is also in a traditional black lacquered sheath uh however going down it instead of the storm clouds and, and dragon uh like his there are uh purple vines resembling wisteria flowers uh and it has a steel uh hilt with uh black leather wrapped around it uh, and it has amethyst charms set into the wrapping <laughs> uh with a black steel handguard uh in the shape of a dragon with its claws extended uh as you draw forth the blade from its sheath uh the steel color changes um to adopt a crystalline appearance almost like mirror-like in its reflection uh that looks a, a bit cloudy almost like freshly mined amethyst She nods her head in like amusement, and she shoots it back, and then puts it on her back. Reiko, could you open your package? He's um, not even there, is he? This is the next day. I thought, I thought this is the next day. Yeah, everybody's at the inn. You're eating breakfast. He can't open it. It was delivered near a door. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I do open mine. Uh, your. Blades actually stand out amongst everyone else's in that there are, of course, two of them uh, linked together by a uh, long black chain that have uh, spiked kind of like caltrop smelted into the steel of the chain. Uh, and the sheaths are different. One is white uh, with Ainu clan markings across them. Uh, the other is black with similar markings uh, running down the sheath. I open them up and take a look at them. Uh, as you draw them out, the traditional steel of the Demon Slayers uh, changes color and adopts a black hue. Very uh, crystalline, similar to Atsuko's blade, but this one looks more like a polished obsidian tool. In its crystalline reflection. Very, very dark. Yeah, but it's still still black. Yeah. Don't play with your tools. Um... And as, as, you, as you draw it out as well, uh, as the blades catch the light, you watch the chains as well uh, change color to this same black that is of uh, the material, uh, as you had requested that the chain uh, be forged with Nichiren. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Man, All I right. Think we I think we could have ordered more than one. I would have ordered like ten swords. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I need many swords. Mine have a tendency... I, I do not trust. I do not trust that. Yeah, I mean, no, don't I order a bunch swords. of swords. I'm, I'm like, all right, look, stop trying to outdo Rorono, Rorono or Zoro, okay? You're not. <laughs> Ten sword style. <laughs> God damn it. 
Christ. No, no. It's, it's just replacement in case I break what was that? What was that one dude from uh, Roni Kitchen that had all those swords strapped to him all the time? Broomhead or whatever? I have no idea. Yeah. Well, it was... That guy! That, uh... one, that one guy! <laughs> no, nah, so... nah, I'm just going to use the infinite sword attack from Soul Eater. Oh, God. Jesus. Uh, so as... as... <laughs> well, at least we're keeping it anime. Yeah, keeping it in the anime family. Uh, as you all uh, are you know, checking out your blades, there's also a note attached with it, uh, addressed to the whole party. I uh, read it. I immediately went back to eating breakfast. Uh, but the letter in this package is addressed to the whole party. Uh, if anyone would I like to open it, they... read it. Okay, Tenshi picks it up and reads it. Since they're all opening their swords, I'm guessing. Yeah. I well, I just I just pulled the sword out, looked at it, was like neat, and then I moved back and, and went then back went to back to food. Went back to food. Look, it's the morning. The stomach wants what the stomach wants. We it have, was making the rumblies. The was. only food could satisfy. <laughs> the only oh, hands could wow. satisfy. Yes, yes. Uh, oh man. Uh, that only ham could satisfy. There we go. Yes. Ham. Um, the letter, it, the the letter inside is addressed uh to your group. Uh, it is a letter of summons, uh, from the director you all met the first time you were here. Uh, stating that he has finally, uh, found a mission that he can uh send you all on. As it took him a little bit of time to find just the right uh summons. Uh, he disclosed is uh the location that you all are to head to, uh, as well as a map. Um, and it even includes a name for your point of contact. Uh, it says that you are to report to Junsui Village uh, to the west. Uh, you will be reporting to a Mizunoto uh, Demon Slayer who has been on the payroll for a, a, a quite bit longer than y'all, um, Un who goes by the name uh, Haruto Aoki, and he will be uh, your point of contact for this mission. Yeah, this is nothing. We can ignore it. <laughs> Back to breakfast. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a call to adventure! No. One sec. What? <laughs> Derailed the whole like, plot twist. No, See you later, this. guys. I'm sorry. This. Straight out. I love this because now we've officially stepped into that try to avoid becoming an anime pro tag meme. It's like, call to adventure. Nope. Like, nope. nope. Later. <laughs> I do not want to become a main character. Uh, <laughs> I mean, before he does anything, Tenchi's getting breakfast. Yeah, I hope it. He's like, not now. This can wait. This can wait. But later. <laughs> <laughs> but do you have biscuits? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. All right. Uh, so, as you all wrap up your breakfast, uh, do you head out immediately, or do you. Is there anything that you all need to accomplish before you leave? Uh, I would yeah, like guys, to head out immediately. We got, we got a new mission. Food's cool. done. Mission now. Yeah. Food's done. Yeah, you're like food's done. Hikaru's very confused with a mouthful of. A... He's like he's not done. Hikaru, we're going to slay demons. He's like. <laughs> Take the food with you. Now, now I'm just imagining like that one piece s like swallowing a gigantic amount of food and like getting it. Cold. Your throat is like <laughs> <laughs> No, no, he's not Luffy. He just has oh. really puffy cheeks like a chipmunk right now. Luffy. <laughs> he, he understands does. portion I control. I, I don't see yeah. a difference there. This episode brought to you by One Piece Alabaster Bridge in episode two. You should go watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean if you are gonna continue to plug One Piece, I'm all for it. Uh but all right. uh, that's that this this will be the DD campaign that makes Tony's night and we just plug it every two every five minutes and let's not plug it. Uh, all right so <laughs> not every five minutes but like okay if, 10 if, to 20, if we do 10 like to a 20, one piece 10 to 20, yeah come on yeah, let's say if we do like a one piece joke then yes pl plug it yeah okay um no i was gonna say i was gonna say does that mean he has to like grab all the food that's on the table because they're like you can take it with me and then he's like carrying like an arm load of food that's constantly falling off i mean you do have a haori that you can food it <laughs> 
Although I just now realized Howries don't have pockets. Never mind. I, I take it back. God damn these girl Howries. Why are we not wearing man Howries that have pockets? Because pockets haven't been invented yet. Yes, they have. Yeah, they have. <laughs> I know. I'm messing with him. He's, he's a mountain boy. I know what boy. era. I, I, look, I didn't know you were saying that in character or not, but I've. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Look, as a person who is deathly afraid of large crowds of people, I have taken notice of the people in this in this city, and there are people wearing po wearing clothing that has pockets. This is bullshit. You can't lie to me. I've seen people pull money out of their pockets, even in the mountain areas. I know these are lies. He's not wrong. Pockets have existed for centuries. Wait, was Oscar, was we saying that to Denji or Hikaru? <laughs> Hikaru was replying back. Uh, you can't fool me. I may be a mountain boy, but I'm not that kind of a mountain boy. <laughs> Daisuke's kind of like, what is going on? I'll bet you. You know what? I'll bet you think there's three L's in gullible. I, I actually couldn't understand what you said. Out of character. What? I, uh, I did not understand what he said. Uh, was that because you were in a tree for too long? Moving to I was just basically going to say it was just Hikaru yelling at you that you're wrong and here's why. Yeah. yeah. And thus the and thus it continues on the road. <laughs> I like that this is now the conversation. <laughs> Feudal exactly. pockets. Hashtag feudal pockets. And now we come to village. The entire time Peter is just yelling at Tenchi. Tenchi's just smug smugly staring at him. <laughs> Daisuke's just looking like should should I break is, is, is Tenchi just the Asuka's human equivalent to, like, of the cat yell at with both of them knives pointed at it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> Women have bras as holders for money for centuries. Look here. You can She's not wrong. Just having titties gives you extra pocket room. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> okay, then. All right. So uh, I see that Hawks got a little bit of computer trouble. So uh, we'll still proceed to the next map. Um, We'll just... Oh, no. The do doors! The doors got the doors him. him. We gotta save him. We'll save him later. This mission is would like to help, If you would like to help save him from the doors, please go check out One Piece Alabaster Bridge. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it was not even five minutes. <laughs> There's not even any doors there. That's why they should go check it out because it's a door free safe zone. <laughs> oh my exactly. God. If the doors got them, they're not going to be there. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. Or at least most uh... of the places you can at least convince them that it's not a door. It's a giant window. Um, <sighs> all right. So you arrive in the farming village of uh, Jun, which uh, runs alongside a large uh, river for an irrigation channel, uh, as their main export is rice crop. <laughs> Uh, and as you all arrive, uh, the only real point of contact that's listed on your map is just the town hall, which is in the center of town. Uh, and it just has like an X on it. DM, I, I have a question. Number one. Mm -hmm. uh, have I finished my food at this point in time? And how dirty is my already right now? How much food did you bring with you? I mean, as much as he could carry. I, you're not wrong. I, I reached both arms out across the table and I just grabbed as much as I could and I was like, that looks like enough. <laughs> and it's just, all right, we're doing this. You said I could. Look, I was just planning on grabbing a handful and you were like, you could use your howry. You gave me ideas, DM. Uh, then this in that case, uh, you, you have, uh, you have finished the food. Uh, but there is just, like, a lot of rice stuck to the inside of your your coat. Sweet! Travel rice. I'm just imagining he's, like, fight, he's just, like, fighting a demon. He's like, oh, free snack! Mm. It's, like, it's like, yeah, you 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 just barely had dodged by a hair's breadth. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> just get so out. Is, is that what we needed to do, is just put pieces yeah, of candy? Yeah, yeah, good to know that if we need to fight Hikaru <laughs> again, we just lay grains of rice on the ground in a line he's not gonna eat them off the ground he has standards oh we'll put get a series of bowls <laughs> then <laughs> yeah. 
So instead of pieces of candy, there's bowls this, of rice. I just imagine there's like katsudon just lined up, and people are very confused as this small child is just hopping forward and like, like it's almost dog-like because he's moving on all fours, but then suddenly he grabs the chopsticks and starts eating them like a person. So he's still feral, but he has table manners. And they're all just more equally confused by the fact that there are four other kids down the line holding a <laughs> string leading to a stick in a box, <laughs> waiting patiently. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes. Hikaru. Do you think Hikaru, it's going to work this time? It's like Hikaru gets all the way to the box. He looks at the box. He kicks the box. He grabs the ball. That's hole. terrible. <laughs> good thing we had another box. <laughs> yeah, good thing we had this backup box. <laughs> yeah, jokes on you. The box was a decoy. Did a building sized <laughs> box oh that he didn't notice falls on him. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. Oh. Where do y'all go in the village? Uh, um, I'm apparently right. headed to the box with the food under it. <laughs> I I'm down for uh, going into this. Like, do we need? What was our assignment actually? Uh, like, to meet up with Haruto uh, to find out more about the demon you will be hunting. I'm and, gonna go. And meet that up was at the town hall. Yeah, I'm... that was at the town hall. Uh, the town the hall is, is the number here. one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a temple. Uh, this is kind of like their uh distillery because they do make rice wine well uh and the other houses marked four five and six are informants informants yeah there's villagers that you can just basically knock on the door and be like, hey give me info <laughs> pardon me npc well it all started back in the day um thanks. i was farming the rice <laughs> just walk away just to go back to, the, just to, go oh, back to another just to go back to another abridged shout out. Uh, when a man and a woman drink far too much. One piece. Nope, that was Log Horizon. But hey, yep. while we're talking about One Piece. No, <laughs> come on. Continue. Continue with the game. Continue with the game. Continue with the game. Uh, you all head to the town hall. Uh, all right. Uh, since we're now arriving in. in, in... I'd like to describe your character to the group. Yes, Anthony Rivera, thank you. Oh, I wanted to hear the rest of the story. I'm so glad that people are quoting episode three of LHA. That's beautiful. Thank you. It makes my night. How much rice is still on my face, or did I get most of it? Uh, I'd say, like, it, but you got half of it. Cool, cool, because, like, I, I, had, to, I had to eat with my hands on the go, so it wasn't exactly table manners time. Uh, so Cody, describe your boy. Hi. Um, Haruto is handsome. Got he's it. a handsome boy. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, that's all you need to know. It's and your he boy. Can... He just yeah. he just has that sexual energy. Oh, my oh God. God. <laughs> On a scale of one to handsome, how handsome is he? He's like a nine point five handsome. Like he's got his like little imperfections, but that you know they're forgivable. This sounds like uh, self ego talking. Right <laughs> I mean, you've seen me in real life. You yeah, judge yourself. Not, but, all right. First off, you didn't say Fair your enough. character was modeled after you, so I have slept with you. Good to know. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, Hikaru gets around. <laughs> you look familiar. Have I shared a cot with you before? <laughs> uh, but yeah, like based off the token, I mean, he's a he's a, he's a buff boy. He got some nice nice features. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm forgive me. I'm not uh, not used to having to de describe myself. Like I, I mean, do you want me to describe? I feel free. You I have feel, the you have I the gift like of gab, my friend. DM, I feel like you are more trustworthy in this in this. Thing. <laughs> I, he is a very handsome boy. I was like, is this you talking or is this you talking? Uh, he's uh, despite you know his his eight, like still being in kind of like he's he's in the late teens, like I'd say like between seventeen and nineteen. Uh, about pretty tall, like about six two. Uh, very well built, very buff. Uh, he is wearing a brown haori with a green collar, Im and tattooed on his right bicep uh, is the Japanese symbol for tree or foundation. Uh, he has a brown leather bracer that has uh, small like uh, pieces of metal woven in to act as kind of like a handguard. 
and a reinf- like kind of like a reinforcement bracer. Um, his hair is very short cut, similar to uh, Daisuke's or Hikaru's, uh, and he kind of has it styled upwards and shaved on the sides. Uh, it's kind of uh, styled up. Uh, maybe stands about one to two inches uh, tall, like his hair. So it adds some height to him. So, and he does not wear sleeves. Sleeves are not thi- his thing. So you're so you're the Marisha Ray of our group. Good to know. Um. So two quick things. Mm-hmm. I feel like this is threatening this sweet bean bun arm here, and you don't want to rile them up. Uh. Secondly. <laughs> That just sounds like you're threatening Hikaru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking about I mean, the... No, no, no. No, no, no. Our, our characters probably could care less. However, the the shipping wars that are going on in the chat might not be so happy. Uh, <laughs> I could care I mean, less. Hey, hey, I mean, hey, chat. Uh, if Hikaru can't prove himself against competition, then I mean... It's less of a battleship and more of just a cruiser. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, once you said six foot two, I could not get it out of my head. I was like, oh, so sweet. He's Asian Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Good to know. <laughs> That's immediately where I took it. So what is the cutest thing he could think of? Asian Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. That is exactly what he thinks. That's uh, a bit of a reach. Hey, look here. I will go where my brain tells me. It's not always the best place. But it is a place. All right. I suppose. Uh, I suppose. Yes. Look, I didn't say you were a chubby Stay Puff. Uh, you could be a muscular one. He is a muscular one. Yeah. Nobody steps on a church in his town. So, um. Yeah. I mean, uh, at this point, at this point, <laughs> he is just still looking for more rice. Like you, you don't have his attention at all. He just okay. he glanced, he saw you. He's like more rice. I'm trying to get all, all right, the rice so. off my face. He's trying to become a clean boy again. Uh, don't mind him. He could uh, swear he just had a bath yesterday. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> you did. <laughs> just uh, here's here, here's how I imagine uh, here's how I imagine Haruto just kind of hanging out, waiting for y'all. He's just. He's just taking a small whetstone to his scythe, just kind of, you know, whistling some like nonsensical tune Rip that on really doesn't make any sense, and just leaning up against a barn cowboy style. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, and he's Jesse McCree. Now, I was a sort of. As soon as he sees oh, you, he God. goes, "Oh hi, what's going on?" Someone, please ask him what time it is. What time is it, good sir? <laughs> uh, it's about. Um... Is it midday? Is the sun like is it high? high no, no, uh... it's about two thirty. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even Hikaru is like, yeah, high noon was a while ago. <laughs> yeah, Atsuko, why would you? What was with that question? <laughs> no reason. He sees ha- Haruto sees Atsuko yes. and immediately just goes, "Hello there." Oh my Walks god, he's only one Kenobi. Hello there. Walks up to her in a very non very non-threatening, just very overly playful, friendly way, and then does this really deep bow as 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 if he, that's the only way he knows how to formally greet people. My lady. Is this dude a foreigner? No, he's just eccentric. Oh. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> like he does this really deep bow. He like, just has some interesting mannerisms. Okay. I will say that. My I mean, name is uh, my my name is Haruto Aoki. Or how are we are we introducing ourselves? Family name first. Uh, no, it's, it's stick with English rules. Okay, yeah, English rules. I should have asked beforehand. Our Apologies. audience isn't our audience isn't that weeb. So let's, fair enough. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and neither are we. And then I just, I, you know, yeah, Haruto comes up out of his bow just a little bit, enough to lock eyes with Atsuko and goes, I look forward to working with you. And just flashes this great smile. Oh, man. I can't, I can't help it. This timing is too perfect. Hikaru walks up, places a hand right on his shoulder, looks at him in the eyes and goes, hey. 
I go, <laughs> Atsuko, not Atsuko, that's Haruto. Right. That's right, Chance. Or, that's right, chat. He just did the shoulder touch. Haruto <laughs> looks over and goes, looks Hikaru up and down and goes, <laughs> you look the, like the kind of guy who just discovered what pockets were. These things don't have pockets! <laughs> Like, 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 all like, right, all right. At this point, he's losing it. They've been around for a long time. What is oh, with I'm... this? Ah, Atsuko like removes his hand off of her, <laughs> and she's just like, "Please don't ever do that again." Kenji is laughing his ass off on the ground. Daisuke is just kind of like confused at the whole situation. Like, okay, um, it's oh, me nice to meet you as well. Um. <laughs> Aruto stands right back up. He's he's just fuming about pockets in the background. Like this is full Inosuke <laughs> moment right here. Like just Mikeko minus just the nods. pig head. Like just minus the pig head. He's just standing there shouting at the ether about pockets. <laughs> I turn to the rest. Uh, Haruto turns to the rest that aren't losing their minds over pockets, and he's so going, just points to points to <laughs> points to Hikaru and goes. I have a feeling that's going to get old. Don't mind him. He's kind yeah, of always yeah. like this. Kind of like these plugins for One Piece Alabaster Bridge, episode two. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> just ignore right, him. Like, I moved to ban One Piece Alabaster Bridge. <laughs> I second, second this. I, I mean, no, I, I mean, no, see, that's the problem. If you it, it, see, it's I feel like the audience has already banned it because they did that. That just means I'm going to have to double down on the amounts. Also, you can't ban what I have control over. I mean, I was gonna say that, like, since you you yourself pointed out that the joke's getting old, I mean, we'll do. I'll say that we can do one more <laughs> plug through the stream, but that should be the but like this should be the second to last one. I'm sorry, it was perfect. No more. No, you're good. This should be the second to last one though. Like, we we could what do one more, like maybe eight forty five or something. Like, oh, no, close no, no, to the no, end. no, no, no! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it when it's least expected and when it's most appropriate, or least okay. appropriate. It could be either or. Well, gotcha. Now we're gonna it all the time. So uh, <laughs> now the now the party's on edge, which is good. Yes. You need to be you need to be afraid when you fight demons. <laughs> I would like Fear to attack. Keeps you alive. I would like, like to attack. This fun. attack brought to you by. <laughs> now, now. Yep. <laughs> all right. So Daisuke is gonna say. So we were. Oh no! Every time a nat one is rolled, I will plug Alabasta abridged. No. Uh, no. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Daisuke, you were saying. Yes. yes. Daisuke's gonna ask, so we were told to meet up with you. Um, what seems to be the situation? Well, <laughs> the darndest thing. We have been having nightly demon attacks from the same demon every night at the exact same time. At the exact same time. At, well. Is it high moon? It is not High Moon, unfortunately. Damn it. Well, uh, that is the darndest thing. It is at uh, every night at 10, 10 p.m. It's like you could set a... Wait, do watches exist? I don't know. Uh, yes. Uh, clocks exist. Guys, you can set your... Yes, pocket you can set watches your... exist. It's the early 1900s. It's like between... Mm -hmm. it's, it's 1920. Like... I was just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give or take. Okay. Inter yeah, yeah, I was going to okay. say... I was going to say... Well, if it's 1920, then Japan is... Well, I mean, through. it's... You can set it's... your rooster to it. Yeah. I, would say, I would say probably best to put this between 1900 and 1910. You don't. I mean, yeah, that, that's when Taisho is. Like Taisho is between 1913 and like. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, Japan's about to go mm. through the Great Depression. This, this boat. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can just give put a demon info. And... <laughs> demon information. Yeah, yeah. So he's been. This demon has been attacking every night at 10 p.m. at different parts of the town, but it always seems to alternate between the north and east parts of the town. And now, here's the darndest part when it attacks, it plays a song that would sort of send people into a. How do I say this? A, a trance of sorts? They become unaware of what they're doing, it seems. And then it attacks. I would have been able to take care of this myself, I feel like. Uh, not to be overconfident. Then go do however, it. However, however, the the hypno the hypnot the uh the demon would hypnotize would send all the villagers around into a trance, making it very difficult. 
So the more hands on deck I have, the better. So what you're telling us is that the demon attacks at a certain time, but he's mind controlled everyone in town? Well, only when a certain, only when it attacks and only when a certain, when the song plays. You'll so, know it when you hear it. Um, could, could you we tell us what just... the song is? It's, it's, uh, it, it, I mean, it, it it's, it's more like it a, a tune, yeah. Less, Richie. Less a, like, it's not like, a, it's not like, oh yeah, it plays this one Japanese could... song and everyone loses their, their gourds. <laughs> If Could you tell us what the tune sounds like? The word "free bird" comes to mind. I'm not really sure Jesus why. Jesus Christ! Um, <laughs> free bird. That's two words, but go on. <laughs> I think it's one word. Anyway, how about um, we should really, you know, just sit down and strategize. How do we? A DM. Which way is north and east? Uh, north is okay, actually the north. way the the road that y'all came from. Uh, that is the the village. Um, and the east is uh, past the distillery. Yeah. Um, your name was Haruto, right? Haruto, correct. And yours? Uh, oh, yes, I am uh, Reikoku Akino of the Akino. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, there he goes. He's back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm Asuka Tenu from the Tenu family. It's very nice to meet you. I had a, actually had a question. Have you considered evacuating the village before the demon comes? Or it's really hard to do. It's night. really hard to do with one person, turns out. And <clears> they're not really too keen. It. They're we not too keen. They, every night. And they don't seem too keen on me because I carry the scythe around. They... Mm -hmm. You hear a scythe? Yeah. He's been sitting there sharpening it in front of you for like the past couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like with exception of his bowing and introducing himself, he like when you f***ed up, he was sharpening a scythe. I'm sorry, Tenji has actually not actually looked directly at this dude this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Haruto goes over to Tenji. And what, may, what might your name be? Well, you just said it now. <laughs> Hey, there, friend. Hikaru has ended his uh, hinted ended his rant, by the way, and he's just rage breathing. You know that that whole. <sighs> I mm -hmm. Haruto looks over. Breast pockets go. <laughs> at this Asuka point, just at this point, he begins drawing his sword. We found. We found. <laughs> we found Relax, friend. I only jest. We found Hikaru's door. It's too it late. Very... It's too late. <laughs> God it damn pockets! Very... It must be very traumatizing just to be angry at an inanimate object. No, no. It has. It has nothing to do with the pockets themselves. It's like. It's like. And you guys call me a heathen. He's like. God damn it! I must slay the ignorant at this Hikaru, point. Hikaru, just relax. He's just messing around. Yes, admittedly, There's that is... There's no th need to get angry right now. Get angry oh, when we see the demons, oh, okay? By the, way, Just by, yes. by the way, his sword's fully out. Like, he's already in his stance. He's like, say it again. Yeah. Fucking now say he it again. Walks so Haruto walks over to Hikaru and goes, I mean, I mean you no You probably offense. should have I... taken a step forward. Uh, I'm... No, 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 I'm saying that you probably shouldn't have stepped towards him when he's already in this I, mode. I'm, I'm doing a thing. I promise this will work. Okay, well... I, I'm simply, I simply turn toward him, turn DM, toward him. I'm looking for my dice bag because I'm rolling for, I'm rolling to see if I can control whether or not I, I do lash out physically. Well, please let him like finish what he's doing first, and and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Relax, friend. I just jest. I apologize. I do another exaggerated bow. Okay. Believe me, I, I am, I have utmost, I have utmost confidence in every one of you here. Otherwise, I wouldn't have called for help. Yeah, I can't find my dice. This is yeah. This well, is I mean, he's he, he's he isn't like actually walking towards you. He just turned to face you and then bowed. No, he you, he said he took a step toward me. Yeah, but he he kind of redacted that when he like said that he was doing the bow thing. Like he took a step forward to do the bow. Like, yeah, to, uh, like a pivot step kind of deal. Like yeah, just so I could. Turn. <laughs> like, turn on his heel, kind of. I don't, yeah, kind of. Yeah, like DM, DM, you're apparently going to have to roll for me all fucking night. I can't find my shit. 
Okay, I mean... Or, you know, you could use the roll 20. No, no, I, I refuse. The dice I mean, are better. All right. I'll, you're I'll, 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 I'll gladly take that fate in my hands. Mm. Uh, I mean, wow. what? I mean, he he's he's bowing. I mean, what are you doing? I trust Car I trust Krusty. Does this appease me or not? I d I don't know. Does it? That's what, what you I want, want you to him roll to roll. For. <laughs> what are you wanting him to roll? I don't know. Yes. yes it is. It is. It is. It is a. Calm. It is. For fucking it is. It is okay. Then, then for then for calm. Yes. Like this is this is a a, a nice gesture. Do, this do is not. Know? This is not a gesture you haven't seen before. You've seen people bow. But it's but it's fucking weird, right? Because he's eccentric. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a lot deeper than you're used to. Like you you know about bowing for combat. You know about bowing for formality. This is very deep. Like this is not something you've seen. Like th this deep is like overtly formal. <laughs> Okay, so at this point in time, I resheathe my sword and I just say we're done here, and I start going to investigate. Like I will do it on my own. I, d I this is not a conversation. I I d I automatically do not like this person anymore. And she just yells, "Chin pockets!" The sword comes out again. Why must God. you encourage him? I Seriously. did it because I thought it was a giggle. Now, like he's walking times, away. Though? He's walking away, just holding the sword out. He's like he's I, mumbling I, uh, to which... himself. He's just mumbling to himself about heathens and their I... non-belief in pockets. It's just uh, like... Har Haruto shouts to Hikaru, "You won't get very far with people if you just brand if you're just holding out your sword like that. Just just a tip." Stops, turns, places the sword on his shoulder, looks back. It is all death and glaring. And just turns back around and continues walking forward. It's uh, just if which, you just leave which, him be. Which, which, which direct? It seems that way. It's which direction fun. are you going, north or east? Uh, I, he'll probably head north first. Yeah. Okay. Back to where we came. It's oh, best we once don't he's out of sight. Once he's out of sight, he's gonna re. All right. Here's the beautiful part of this DM. Once he's out of sight, he's gonna uh, resheathe his sword, drop the entire demeanor, and just walk away like. This was all an act. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so now the group is. Uh, well, he's already split up to do his investigation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so where is like, are other people breaking off? Like, what? What is? I happen? say we go into teams. Kinda. Sweet. Who'd I'm like to come team. with me? I'm one team. Everybody else is I'll... the other. Cool. Done. I'll. I'll go. Awesome. Okay, so Dice and, get a... and uh, Haruto. Got it. Mm -hmm. I'd like to try and get a lay of the land. Good, good vantage point. Maybe scout around out the village. Uh, okay. Um, the highest point in the village is the temple. So you mm. could probably like climb that to look around. So I guess I'll be heading to the temple if anyone... Yeah, go, go, go synchronize that viewpoint. I will go, I guess, south. I I guess if you wanted to be, I guess if you wanted to be a bit more current towards you know more modern gaming, you go find that meditation spot. <laughs> okay. No, have you um, not? Have you not seen some of the new game? Or some of the new footage. You uh, you go to meditating spots instead of synchronizing with towers for the uh, Jedi Fallen Order. No, I've seen that um, one. Yeah. Oh, I want to play that so bad. Okay, so he's going there. You said, uh, Atsuko, you said you're going south? Yeah. Okay, so down into the rice fields and beyond? Right. Into the okay. Rice, rice fields. Into the rice fields and I go. beyond. I'm going to go uh, the river north, northeast. Okay, so northeast. So you're heading this way. Atsuko's heading... Should we just say that you and Atsuko take different sections of the river? And they'll meet up, yeah. And they'll meet up back in the village. Uh, and then, uh, Haruto and Daisuke, you two are teaming up. Where, uh, which direction? Let's you say start with... Hey, uh, hey, Fel, how about we start with, like, just, you know, going down the list here. Number two, let's go to the distillery and just, yeah, like... Let's... Yeah, let's check that. <laughs> Why'd you call me Fel? I'm Fel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He was talking to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I was so... talking... I, sorry, forgive me, Walker. I was, ta I was talking no, to I got Fel. You. I was just kind of like, okay. Y'all are going to investigate the distillery. So, uh, first yep. we'll go ahead and pick up with uh, Ray Coco. Um... 
I need you to make me an acrobatics check because you are climbing this thing. I can roll my dice, but I, I mean, can't log in front... to roll twenty. I mean, I can... that's fine. I can tell you what you're. Mo- I can. I can give you a modifier. I think the DM can roll since he can see seventeen. Uh, seventeen plus uh twenty-one. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that easy peasy. Like you, uh, climbing large structures is like shit that they had you do when you were like eight. Like this is like nothing. Like, mm-hmm. as with most. You know, kids of of the under ten variety. Yeah, you went through that hardcore phase. You know, you you can do shit. Uh, yeah, it doesn't take long. You get reach the top of the temple. Um, and kind of look around the surrounding area. Uh, it's rather heavily wooded. Um, and with the river, it seems to kind of like run from a large tributary. Uh, up the way, like up a few hills. Uh. The only things that really stand out to you um, is just, like, a few areas where the woods become, like, so densely wooded that it kind of, like, isn't easy to see for you. Mm-hmm. Um, with with just general knowledge of demons, you know that they have an sunlight, so these areas, like, where it's deeply wooded uh, would make a pretty perfect hiding spot uh, during the daytime. All right, I think I might start scouting that way. All right, that is in the uh, northeast, kind of like up in yay, ver- yay vector. So yeah, you start heading that way. Um, while you go ahead and head that way, uh, we will pick up with uh, Daisuke and God, I forgot for a second. Harto, Harto. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Uh, you pick up with Daisuke and Harto. You all arrive at the distillery. Um, they have a few um, things already, like kind of like casked off in in urns uh, that are fermenting. Um, you see as well, like there are two different kind of uh, workshops. Uh, one where they um, seems more like devoted to testing. Uh, like they have like a few jars that are numbered. Uh, that they just seem to be like testing like the the potency and like t- flavor of of their uh, rice wine, uh, and the other seems to be more of like just kind of like a, a work office for the the people at the distillery, uh, where they all kind of just like sit around and then there's some documents there. All right. Um. I uh, Daisuke is going to be a, a little amused with uh, everything going on, like. Wow, this is so much work and everything is done here. Um, can I can he make it like kind of an investigation check and whatnot just to see, like look into it a little bit further? Uh, yeah, you can do an investigation check. Okie doke. Uh, 21. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance. Uh, Walker's knowledge. It's not as great as as uh, I, I would wish it, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it seems like a very streamlined process. Uh, it seems like they have been doing this for a very long time, so there's almost an art to what they're doing, less than a science. Um, and for the most part, like the, the people at who are working here seem very uh, like contented with their work. I mean, that there are a few uh, faces you can spot that are kind of like anxious uh because i mean this this village has been under siege by a demon uh but outside of that like they they seem to enjoy what they do haruto pats daisuke on the back and goes salt of the earth these people aren't they their village Uh, is under attack constantly and for whatever reason i haven't been able to help them but they still show up to work every day Ah, i love the dedication I mean, it's nice and all, but I do think that maybe I wouldn't blame them if they did want to leave or whatnot. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't blame them at all. But I mean, it's so their cho- ultimately, it's their choice. Now, with your uh, deduction, has there any been anything cited here at the distillery, though? I mean, everything 
looks like what it would normally look like for a distillery. Yeah. Well, couldn't hurt to... Hmm. Not since last night, but it couldn't hurt to check with the uh, check with the employees here. So why don't right. we uh, so why don't we talk with the office manager and just figure stuff, uh, you know, see if anything is amiss. All right, yeah. uh, you all kind of like look around, and uh, there is one person that stands out as the as uh, they actually has a desk. Uh, everyone else kind of has like uh, you know like benches and chairs, uh, like a few tables, kind of like an employee break room. But this person actually has like a legitimate desk that they are working behind, and they seem to be just kind of like uh, put it like uh, working on just like writing down some reports just on the latest batch of uh, liquor they've been uh, distilling. And they, he kind of like looks up as you all approach, and he goes, "Ah, so there's more of you now." Yes, I uh, called in for backup. These are, uh, this, this demon's proving more trouble than I anticipated. Oh, hello there, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, well, I mean, we appreciate any help we can get. Uh, not really fighters, so we leave this in your capable hands. Is there any, has there been anything, Har Haruto uh, looks over to the, uh, to the person who he identifies as the office manager. Has there been anything uh, since the last attack that I should know about? Because maybe uh, well, with more hands on deck, I feel like we could uh, we could plan a little bit better. Uh, well, you know, now that you mention it, there actually has been something that's, that's uh, bothered me a bit. Um, with the last attack, it you know it, it was a lot like the the rest of them, uh, the people in the area that could uh, th that told me that they had heard a tune before everything happened, uh, described it the same as, as the last, um, but they mentioned that uh, with the last attack, there seemed to be more uh, devastation to the surrounding buildings than, than previously had been uh, done. With, with the previous attacks, uh, the, the tune would play, and then the next day we would find that some people had been taken. Uh, but this time it feels like there was more of a, a raid than an actual abduction. A raid, you said? Mm, yes. Like they, so they, so multiple be people are missing now. Uh, yes, it seems that way. In addition to the people, is there any uh, any important any important uh, items that we need to be on the lookout for? Anything that might be anything like that that might be missing as well? Uh, well, I mean, I don't really know what type of items you you would be looking for. I mean, I'm not sure what a demon would find valuable. Uh, Just anything out of place. I like thinks on it for a second. He's like, I, I can't think of anything. Honestly, I'm, I'm sorry. Haruto steps forward, shakes the man's hand very exaggeratedly. And goes, thank you very much for your time. We it really appreciate it. Can I ask one question, though? Um, who did go missing? Uh, well, uh, the, the temple priest mentioned that uh, his niece went missing uh, as well. Uh, a few people in town uh, mentioned that... Uh, it seemed actually now that I think about it to mostly be uh young women between ages uh fifteen and twenty-three. Hmm. Very interesting. Still shaking his hand. <laughs> he's just like sitting there like as he's thinking about it, as his hand is just basically vibrating. Yeah. And it's just like trying to relay this information while also trying to like very graciously remove his hand from this handshake. Like, he doesn't want to seem impolite, but he also doesn't want to lose feeling in his arm. Uh, thank you for answering our questions. Uh, we'll, we'll let you get back to work. Um, thank you. Ah, you're correct. Ah, very good, Daisuke. Thank you for your time, sir. All Bow's right. Less, less exaggerated bow, more normal. <laughs> and then, All right. Then we leave. 
Uh, then while y'all are heading out, uh, we will pick up with uh, Hikaru. Hikaru, you are heading. Uh, what are you looking for? Absolutely nothing. Did I just well, say I, 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 I can't wait for Haruto to. That, that's your name, Haruto? Correct. I can't wait for Haruto to bow to the demon. <laughs> that would be a bit of a trip, but okay. Uh, so Hikaru, what are you looking for when you head north? Any kind of signs of like, uh, what has been going? I'm, I'm just doing a just kind of general check for demon activity, I guess. Okay, just uh, roll me an investigation as you kind of. How about you roll me one? Oh right. <laughs> I keep forgetting that these can't find dice. My bad. Uh, <sighs> Sorry, uh, that that size not directed at you guys. That has... uh, that was a eighteen. Yeah, uh, it does. The, the the woods are your bread and butter. Like this is your jam. Uh, yeah. and Yay! hunting demons, like this is what you're all about. Uh, so you are, uh. Looking through, it is not hard to find signs of the demon. Uh, you can see like some footprints that are clearly human, um, and as well, you can see uh, some some tracks that are uh, very more demonic in their presence. You know, like uh, larger feet, uh, elongated toenails, like things like that, uh, that kind of leave a distinguished mark. Uh, but the one thing that kind of stands out to you is that all the human footprints are never like. They're always going from the village out into the woods. Like, it's never them being dragged away or anything like that. Like, it is always looks like them walking voluntarily into the woods. Uh, but the one thing that does stand out anything to you... Anything can happen in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that does stand out to you is that uh, you see these de demon footprints and you kind of, like, identify it as probably the demon that we're looking for. Uh, but as you're kind of doing your investigation, you start to notice that there are other demon footprints that don't match the ones you first saw. And these are just as fresh as the others? Uh, these are fresher, actually. Oh, joy. Uh, can I determine how many of them there are? The uh, prints? yeah. With, with the prints, uh, just from what you can see, like, these look like these were made maybe two days ago. Oh, boy. Um, but there are about, uh, from the initial demon presence that you found that were kind of older, uh, these are three distinct demons. And, so there are... Total, not, uh, including the, uh, not including the first ones that I saw. So these are three in total, not... not yeah, not including the first ones. Okay. So, so th th essentially, uh, you're looking at maybe four demons maximum, at minimum, uh, definitely two. That's good information to bring up. Mm-hmm. Just from what you can see on the footprints uh, that from two days ago, you can see that there's, like, between two to four demons that you all are probably dealing with. Um, with that, we'll pick up with Otsuko. Uh, Otsuko, you said you're heading... <sighs> Lady Chan... Oh, she's muted. Oh, she's muted. Lady Chan, you're muted. She might be... Might be okay. At the moment. Uh, in that case, uh, we'll pick up with uh, Tenchi. Away. Uh, Tenchi, you were heading... Huh? Okay, uh, so now that... Never mind. Uh, Otsuko, uh, you're heading south along the river. What are you looking for? Um, just to see if anything is out of the ordinary... Um, okay, also roll me an investigation. Uh, okay. 17. Uh, 17. Uh, and nothing seems ordin uh, out of the ordinary on the south uh, side that you're, you're kind of, like, following. Um, and you don't really kind of uh see anything like down this path that looks strange to you um but as you are moving south uh you catch a quick kind of like gust of wind uh 
that is heading uh, southbound from the north. Uh, so you kind of cat. So essentially, like you get a a gust of wind, and you can kind of like pick up the sense of your teammates. You're like, okay, they're all north of me, duh. But you also n- notice a very familiar uh, scent that is not quite human. Uh, you recognize this as the scent of a demon. Um, and it's not necessarily too far outside of town. Um, it is still the afternoon, so it's not really their hunting time. But this, whatever you can smell off this one, they may be observing. You can't really pinpoint but you know that they are north of you. Okay. Um... I mean, I could head up north. Okay. Um, so you start heading up north, and as you do, we will actually uh, hop over to Tenchi. Uh, and Ray Koku, just as a question, when you head off into that like kind of shrouded area, did you want to like bring Tenchi with you, or were you just letting him do his own thing and going off? On- oh, I was, I was um, letting him do his own thing. I guess I was kind of. Headed that way on my own. Just scouting around. Uh, Then in this case, uh, Tenchi, you are uh, at the river, like kind of going up north, uh, kind of like along the hill country, just to get uh, kind of a closer eye on things. Uh, Roll me an investigation check. Okay. Let's say 16. 16. Um, you have to actually step away a bit from the river, like kind of heading uh, north east, like towards uh, this little mound here. And you actually work your way up there uh, where you stop and just kind of like take a look over things. Um, the The river itself was rather noisy and just kind of like distracting to you, but now that you're up here and kind of above things where you can kind of like listen more intently, uh, you are able to hear kind of like a little further than you would normally just because you're at elevated. Uh, and you hear uh, a little bit of uh, heavy breathing kind of like from the northeast off in kind of a more like deeper part of the forest do i recognize this breathing as either human demon uh it does sound more human than demon okay i guess i'll i guess i'll stealthily make my way in that direction all right perfect um so this Actually gives me a good point to uh, converge on. Uh, so, Ray Koku. Yes. As you're making your way into the more densely uh, wooded part of the fortress, uh, for- I don't know why I said fortress, forest, um, make a perception check. Okie dokie. Oh. Okay, let's see. 18 plus whatever. 18 plus your uh, mod. Okay. Um, It, you, you're kind of got your head on a swivel, uh, in here because it is darker. And while you're used to kind of like skulking through the dark, uh, you also are well aware that that is like demon home turf. Yeah. Uh, so you are actually, uh, kind of like walking through and, um, looking around very carefully. Uh, and out of just, like, the vague periphery of your eye, you see a shape kind of, like, running through the trees to your left. What do you do? Um, I'm going to try and stealth and investigate. Okay, roll stealth. Oh, 19 plus whatever. 19 plus... Okay, so 23. Uh, you stealth very well. Um, as you kind of, like, get to higher ground, like, hop up into the trees and just kind of, like, keep an eye from a distance, 
uh, you notice that the shape is uh, human. Like, they are a, a human that seems to be uh, running uh, through the woods. Uh, they are, like, severely uh, rough-off looking. Like, uh, they are uh, missing an arm from the elbow down. Uh, their clothing is just, like, beat up and torn. Uh, she is just looking, like, haggard and almost dehydrated. Like, she seems like she's been booking for a while. Um, uh, like, running full tilt and is just not looking great. And she just seems really panicked. All right, I'm going to try to run alongside her and basically scoop her up to carry her and get her out of the woods. Uh, okay, you are going to need to roll an athletics check because you are basically <laughs> grappling this woman. Yeah. I just wish, as I do, I'm just doing the mouth gesture. You're like, shh. Um, don't know how good my strength is. Uh, 16 plus whatever. Okay. Um, Please say I don't so get beat up by the one arm lady. You don't get beat up, but as you go to like, kind of like hop down beside her and like go to scoop her up, uh, she, all she like fixates on is your mask and she freaks. Like as you kind of like go to like scoop her up, she like shoves and, and kicks and like tries to scramble and, and, and run in a different direction. Uh, like it's not necessarily anything threatening to you per se, but like, she definitely yeah. uh, overpowers your grapple and just keeps booking. At this point, she is like actually like trying to scream for help, but like she it, she is just so hoarse and so tired, like she can't. Get, it's just you just hear gasping essentially from her as she's like booking it towards the village. I just go, lady, lady, I, I'm human. I'm uh, I'm here to kill the demon. Just just let me get you out of here. Uh, okay. Just trying to keep up with her and keep a eye out to make sure there's nothing you know, following us. Gotcha. Uh, I'm also taking note of where she ran from in case I have to find my way back here. Does an 18 hit? Um, probably. You know better than I would right now. Uh, your AC, from what I can see, is a 17. Uh, so yes, it does. Um, as you're, like, trying to uh, dissuade her and kind of, like, calm her down, and you're, like, you know, lady... Uh having her kind of like being the center of your focus does draw your perception a bit. Uh, and you do not notice, uh, as a figure lunges out from your right side and like slashes across, uh, your midsection dealing five points of damage as they, uh, leap past you and kind of like slash you. Um, <laughs> And they kind of, like, tear at, like, the, the front of your, your uniform and, like, get you kind of in the gut. Uh, and as you kind of, like, grind to a stop, you see, like, this almost, like, absolutely feral-looking demon. Like, skin and bones, like, just wild-eyed, like, looking at her more than you um, as she's running. Uh, but is still centered on you because you are interrupting its... It, it, you are bothering its food source. Right. And so it is just zeroed in on you. And I'd say at this point, um, Kazu, as, as you were hearing that heavy breathing and you proceed through, uh, at this point, uh, a, I need you to make a perception check. Okay. Is this hearing sight? Uh, I will say that this uh, will be with your hearing, um, so you will have advantage on this. That's a nat 20. Jesus Christ. Um yeah, like you hear Good thing all too because the, the other sound. one was a six. Play the sound. Play the sound. Good Good play the sound. The the sound hath been demanded. Natural 20. There it is. Um you hear her like you you can hear the heavy breathing like getting closer, uh, but you also hear like uh the snapping of twigs, uh, and you hear kind of what you recognize as the sound of uh, blood spilling onto the ground um, as this woman barrels out of the trees and, like, runs into you uh, but doesn't, like, bowl you over or anything. Like, she just runs in your direction uh, and kind of sees your uniform and you're definitely not 
intimidating look like not not uh, not intimidating but not like wearing an oni mask uh yeah. appearance <laughs> and sees you and sees your sword and just like immediately like runs up to you and just collapses like she is not unconscious but she is just like Exhausted. been going on adrenaline alone like now that she feels safe she is just <laughs> down uh, you can hear in the distance uh, what sounds like a demon. Can I tell how far away it is? Uh, from your current position, it is no more than 30 feet, but it is in kind of this heavily shrouded wood, so your uh, perception's not super... Like, you can hear it, but you can't really see into it. It's very dark in there. Okay. I want to try and pick her, pick her up like, and brace her for Thunderstep. Okay, so you're taking her with you? I'm taking her away from this. Okay, okay, so you are uh, dashing away. Okay, um, you, you know, she's she's not putting up any resistance, so you're able to pick her up pretty easily and start uh, making your way out. Uh, we'll pick up with uh, Reikoku. Reikoku, you're in front of a demon. What do you do? Uh, change my pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> No. Oh um, he's like oh i've been wounded this is a new sensation <laughs> is this what pain feels like i like, don't like it give me one sec rikoku starts stripping demon i feel uncomfortable <laughs> <laughs> but no um how thick is the woods around me uh thick enough to block sunlight um, but not thick enough that you wouldn't be able to make it out if you ran away. Right. right. Like, um, you could weave through the trees pretty easily, um, but it would... Well, it, since Kazu was 30 feet from your position, uh, it would essentially be 30 feet before you could get into anywhere some sunlight. So it wouldn't be like the hardest retreat in the world, but like, yeah. Um, I'm going to start backing away, and we'll be using my uh, flame breathing style seven explosive force to hopefully hit this guy and knock out some of the foliage, maybe expose him to light. Uh, okay. So explosive force. God, I love that skill. Okay, so that is... Uh... Okay, it has to make... Uh, you just... Oh, all you do is roll to hit. Uh, so yeah, roll your dice. Let me know what you hit. I have my um, uh, thing up again, finally. Ooh, natty 20! Finally, some good luck tonight. All right, all right, the noise. Oh, shit, I forgot Yay! the noise. <laughs> Natural 20! There we go. So, any suggestions for my backup character? Someone that I may roll have a goddamn one right now. <laughs> oh. uh, so, natural twenty that absolutely hits. Uh, roll damage. Two d ten of force and three d ten fire. So five d ten total. Yeah. And what do I do with the nat twenty for the damage? Uh, well, seeing as this is a two hit, um, and my crit rule is you always take maximum. Damage. That's basically just going to be 50 points of damage plus whatever the fuck you roll. Good, good. Christ alive, Reiko. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay, D. He's like, oh, yes, a demon. Seventh form. <laughs> so, um, that is 18 on the force. Okay, so 68. We don't have... Yeah, we don't have a modifier, right? Uh, you do not, no. Okay. And the fire. Gotta write the second one. Seventeen. Twenty-four. Yeah, so uh oh. Uh that demon just doesn't exist anymore. Uh as you unleash this explosive wave of high pressure inner like uh air it rips apart the trees around you with as, as both your blades unleash this exceptional blow um the demon itself like takes shredding from 
shrapnel, the the slash itself, and then as the you know, and, and seems to kind of like crumple, but it isn't like decapitated. Uh, and then as the absolute destruction around you has been wreaked, uh, sunlight just shines through and just disintegrates him in seconds. Can he be doing one of those like Chuni style poses, like um, me- like Megamine from Konosuba? Just no one can stop the blade of the Akano clan. Just, and just like holding your blade forward, like you're holding a staff, and just like this yes. exception. Okay, yeah, you're you're striking a pose that no one is around to see. That no one is around to see. <laughs> so no one will ever believe you. Yep. Uh, so, well, I mean, y'all will be able to follow the devastation because all the the rest of you, uh, as you're all throughout the village, all you hear is a loud boom. Well, I'm rushing over. <laughs> As this section of the forest, more or less, like it, it's not even huge, like it's maybe like five feet of the forest to just collapse it. I mean, well, no, Rikoku did something. Yeah, he 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 essentially just blew up a tree. That's essentially all that happened. Like five cubic feet of destruction, enough to destroy demon. It worked, damn it. Whereas Tenchi it running away from. Head explosion thinks, oh shit! <laughs> Runs faster. <laughs> oh no, they have exploding demons! Oh god, the bomb demon, my nemesis. Uh, no, but uh, yeah, you you all hear. Boom. Uh, Atsuko, you said you were all over, um, but for uh, Daisuke, uh, Haruto, and Hikaru, you all hear this loud boom. Uh, what do y'all do? Haruto looks to Daisuke. Shall we? Uh, indeed. Uh, that's something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, let's. Well, let's. Uh, I, I imagine one of your comrades is. Uh. Well, how do you how do you say? Well, look. Let's just go over there. Let's just go with the do the, the yeah. Yeah. Away. Uh, <laughs> as you all begin oh to proceed, God. you kind of like uh, like Atsuko passes y'all uh but you still are able to kind of like see her and and move that way uh kazu you said you're running away so you uh a woman do you just like stop for your comrades or are you just book into the village i i mean the second yeah i stopped the second i run into someone uh yeah atsuko would be the first person you run into um well i mean either atsuko or hikaru it depends on uh Um. hikaru do you come running to the sound of the explosion Uh, he, he might. Yeah, Richie might be muted. Uh, Richie. Hi, sorry. The person, the person that you're trying to contact right now no longer fucking exists. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm str- I'm continuing the stream to be really really polite, but I apologize. Something went down, and I am no longer in a good mood. So, uh, I may need a few minutes before hopping back into character. And okay, I yeah. did not hear any of what happened because I've been dealing with a thing. I'd rather not go public with it. But yeah, no, it's it's I, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's I cool. Need, I need uh, essentially I need to put the stream on break for a moment. Yeah, no, dude, you oh, you, so, you do like, you. We'll we'll like, we'll, get, we'll handle we'll the be, entertainment. La- no, no, no. Uh, what I mean is, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. I have to catch some people up on just what went down. Um. Yeah, I'm not okay. Okay. <laughs> Very, okay. very much not okay. So the stream is going to pause. Uh, I'm going to put us on the BRB screen and mute our mics, and I'm going to catch you up on something that just happened. And we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. I'm so sorry.
We're back. Sorry about that, guys. I uh, just needed a quick break. Thank you so much. Oh, darn it. The chat refreshed. Oh, well. <laughs> At least it's still there. All right. Uh, so, uh, all right. So, I did get caught up on everything. Thank you guys for that quick recap. And also, uh, I guess, even though it wasn't intentional, it's kind of method. Like, Hikaru doesn't know what the fuck happened. He just heard an explosion. So, yes, Curiosity is going to take over. He will head towards the explosion sound. The noise he heard. Uh, quick, quick uh, question, DM. Uh, mm -hmm. From the footprints that I was seeing, do any of them lead in the direction of the sound that I just... Like, that, I, I uh, like the like demon that footprints? Be important... Yeah, the demon footprints. That should be a um, semi-important thing, I guess. It would none be. Of them, none of them seemed to be heading into the town. Uh, it seemed like more. Uh, they got to a certain point and then just stopped, and so the uh, and, and it's it, it seemed to be kind of always in the same area that the original footprints you found. Okay. Like that's as far as they would go towards the town. Okay, so they went to like a certain point and then they just stopped. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... This requires investigation, so let's go towards the loud bang. All right, uh, so I'll say that uh, Atsuko and Hikaru, you arrive at the same time that... Yeah. Uh, and uh, Haruto and Daisuke, you are uh, just a bit behind Atsuko, but you all can arrive at the same time. Um, as you all kind of uh, meet up with Kazu, and he is carrying Wounded Woman. But they're not at the forest yet, right? Yeah, they're not. They're not at Ray Koku's location. Uh, I'll actually just go ahead and group up all the tokens. You said her arm was just gone, right? Uh, her right arm from the uh, elbow down. Yes. Anyone know how to stitch a stump? Does anyone medicine? I I have uh, I have I, I, in medicine. My my my, I could my do initial medicine. thing upon looking at it and then looking at her and looking at the situation, I was like, shouldn't you cauterize it first? <coughs> like I'm not uh, a medicine person, but like should I would, but I don't have fire. Just Turn around. <laughs> I don't know that was you. <laughs> uh I'm just being exploding the demon. I mean I could do the medicine. Well, when I mean, yeah, I, I, I either either uh, yeah. Atsuko or Haruto, whoever wants to. Manage. Yeah, I'll I'll roll. Okay, um, that is twenty five. Uh, yeah, I mean, like you you have a bandage you can uh put on it. Um, yeah, I, I imagine I've been stopping the bleeding with my wires. Yeah, you you've done a pretty good job of making sure she isn't bleeding out, and I mean, like it it's not like a fresh like stump like it she's got like it's it's some dried blood like you just had to stop a little bit of bleeding um but you're able to kind of like bandage the wound and kind of like you're you're no butterfly state uh member Otsko, but you can at least like tell like okay this is bruised this is definitely broken like you're able to kind of like patch her up enough that she is uh stable and in a lot better condition than y'all found <laughs> I start, um, I start brushing and off she is all now like I start brushing off all the rice and stuff from the uh, from the off of my outery and offer. You still to, didn't brush that off. <laughs> it's not all uh, gone anyway. Uh, and and offer to give uh, offer to carry her back to the village. Uh, she is like kind of. She's a little bit more lucid now, uh, and she is just kind of like yes, yes, please. I, I'd like to go home. Okay, I carry her. I help carry her back to the village okay yeah. um so as as he crew leads her back to the village uh, at a the rest of walking pace at a normal yeah. walking pace just to clarify mm -hmm. he's not in crazy mode he's not going to suddenly thunder step anywhere just in case anybody was afraid that would happen no gotcha uh so what are the rest of y'all going to do 
well, I'm going to start patching myself up, I guess. Well, I'm in, in All zero. Right. So if he's camp doing wrong. that, I say the woman ran and this was over here with the D. I say we investigate this area because now that we found... Oh, sure. No one continued to protect the small, armless woman. I, yeah. Well, I'm not there, so... I mean, I mean you're yeah, carrying yeah. her. You, so. You're carrying... Yes, yeah, I'm carrying her, which means I'm not able to immediately access my sword, and I'm not just going to suddenly drop her like a sack of potatoes. I mean, it's... you can all can buddy system up. I mean, there's there's five of you. Yeah, that's true. I need a battle I... buddy. How, how long How long was I running Eva, for? Eva, where are you? Uh, you were... I mean, it wasn't long. I mean, you were probably... Like, you wouldn't have even had to, like, do... Sprinted, and you could have, would have probably been sprinting for, like, no more than, uh, like... 30 seconds to a minute. I am walking at, like, a decent slow walking speed, so... Yeah. Are you, are, are, you, are you in the sunlight? Like, out of the woods? Yeah, no, like, the, the, you're all out of the woods. You're at yeah, the... There's no cover. Oh, we're out of the woods. I thought we yeah, were... You guys, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, well, that, no, that's, y'all are out of the I woods. Need, I don't need their help. Yeah, that, that, anybody's help. yeah, that's why we were... <laughs> yeah, y'all are out of the woods. You're in the sunlight. You're all good. I, I'm I'm moving to slowly right. just for her safety. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. want, like, I, this woman has been through enough of a shock. I don't want to, like, jostle her by suddenly, like, sprinting full force towards the town. But I will mm -hmm. take her into the, and uh, see if I can find somebody that knows her. And that's where we'll leave off with me, I guess. Haruto raises his hand very studiously and goes, Do you need help, friend? Would you like someone to go with you? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> all right uh you oh. i shall then uh haruto and hikaru take the woman back to the village uh atsuko daisuke and uh tenshi what are you doing atsuko uh, daisuke either, gonna go either, investigate. either know where Rikoku is yeah l let's go f i have no idea he i thought he was with you no oh. he took off before me remember uh, i mean right. i could use my smell to find him well that's most likely, he, most likely, if I was a guessing man, he he made that explosion, didn't he? In the opposite I direction of doors, away from the village, away from doors. No, he he just, explosions. He just learned that I, doors I... come from trees. <laughs> oh my god! He learned the origin story. That explains explosions. <laughs> that explains the explosion. He's just Whoa. blowing up trees. Well, that realization when you realize doors grow up and grow on trees. <laughs> do you think he went to the source? Of, well, actually, I'm going to rephrase that. Do you think he might have went in the direction of that explosion? Oh, God. I'm assuming so. I, I wouldn't doubt it. You people are the All best. Right. Money does grow on trees. Money's made of paper. All right, let's uh, let's head that way. He might be there as well. Okay, you go on ahead. I right, need a second. Okay. okay. I'll catch up in a sec. I'm gonna like walk ahead and go investigate. All right, yeah. so Atsuko and Daisuke, you all go ahead first. Um, and and it, 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 it takes me like it takes me like ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not like you're out of commission. You just needed to catch your breath for a sec. <laughs> okay, well, I, I'm uh, just putting us there for like moving sake. Like that's yeah. Like uh, so the three of you kind of like uh, head up into just like. The the edge of the wood, like at, at Reikoku, at this point, like, would you have left like the darker area and gone out into the light? No, I'm You're still blowing. I'm, up I'm probably I'm probably holding that pose for a few minutes, but then I start um, searching the area, scouting a bit. Okay, so uh, like as, as you... for tracks, I'm trying to identify see if there's any other ones in the area that don't. Uh, as you're kind of uh, searching and scouring, make an investigation check. I'm also kind of figuring that hopefully my party will join. Yeah. Um, 16? No, sorry, 18. Miscounted. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, you look around, and there are uh, a couple different tracks. They're all a lot older, like... Uh, these definitely aren't, like, new or anything. Oh. Uh, but as you... Mm -hmm. DM, I probably should yes. have done this at time, but if I could, if if I could quickly, um, what is it? What is it when I go when the, there's a word for this? We go back and fix something that should have been fixed. 
Uh, like retcon. 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 Thank you. If I could retcon something for a moment, I would like to say that I did share the information that the that I found multiple demon tracks. Oh yeah, yeah. Sharing the information about the demons with the the party. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So, I so yeah, the that. group is aware that there are multiple demons, uh, and Ray Koku is now aware that there are multiple demons as he sees these tracks. Um, and as you're kind of like seeing these tracks and realizing, oh shit, this was not the guy. Like that, or maybe this what like if this was the guy, there's more. Uh, as you're kind of like stumbling upon that realization, uh, the uh, rest of the party joins you. Kazu, Daisuke, and Atsuko kind of like step into the hole you created in the foliage. I look back. Stay in the light. It's safe there. You are There's having fun doing whatever you're doing? A demon chasing a woman. Attacked it. It attacked me. Did she have one arm? Yes. Uh, okay. Apparently you, you've seen her. Yes, you ran into me. I destroyed the demon and a chunk of the forest. Hopefully they weren't attached to it. But um. That was you? You bastard, you blew my ears out. Impressive, though. Thank you. But um, I just, I just wanted to hopefully knock enough foilage down to get a bit of a safe area, but I didn't expect to actually kill it. Stupid there, doors being made from trees. There seems to be, um, I, I kind of just squat down and gesture to tracks. It looks like there's uh, multiple demon tracks around here. Yeah, I see. Kikuru like Kiku said something similar. Yeah. I think we're dealing with more than one. Maybe a clan any, or any something. Any idea how many? Uh, Walker... What kind of a idea do I get from the tracks I find? Uh, so they are a bit older, uh, but these are probably fresher than the ones he could, like. Uh, like they're not new, like they weren't made today, but they, uh, un unlike the ones that he saw, the these are about a day old. Uh, because like like um, Harish, I told you they alternate on days, either attacking from the north or the east. Right. Uh, so these are about a day old. Um, and from this, uh. He crew from what you saw, you could judge like maybe between two to four demons. Uh Reikoku, from what you can see now, it looks like it's between uh six and eight. I guess Or I guess now it's more like six and seven, because you kind of blew one of them up. I guess maybe eight demons. Well, seven now, I guess, since I just kind of gestured to the pile of like burning trees. And and demon ash. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, this situation's a little more complicated than we thought, I think. Why are so many demons collected around this tiny village? Well, we did find out that they were taking... I mean, uh, when I talked to the villagers, it turns out they were taking girls that were between the ages of 15 and 23. Uh, think it might be a breeding thing or something? Do demons no. do that? N no. Um... Let's hope not. Yeah, it's new to me if it is. God, God, terrible. No, uh, demons are made because of the. Uh, actually, out of character, DM. Uh, would we know how demons are made in this? Uh, would my I, 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 I will say this. Um, for Tenchi, Hikaru, Haruta, like everybody, like because Reikoku. Your your clan is like more or less self taught in the breathing arts, right? Yeah, I have a bit of a long history with yeah, like the 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 method at which demons are made, I guess, would be more lost to your clan because uh, you you all kind of stopped caring about the why and started caring about the how to kill. Yeah, um, except for that but one very important story. Hmm? Except for that one story for his backstory thing story um but that About doesn't necessarily give you uh, yes an approximation of method um but for the rest of you you know your teachers cover it uh demons are made from demon blood essentially when ingested into the system of a human um and specifically it seems to have like not all demons can just start making other demons by force feeding them blood um <laughs> there seems to be like some kind of if there's like a progenitor or or like clan head that uh controls the flow of blood so i would um actually here's a question what did the demon that so y'all would y'all would know that like 
demons don't have to like do that procreate to make more yeah. demons they yeah. it's it's more of a it's more l- of a, l- less, less of a yeah less of a nature thing and more of a yeah no I, okay good um did you see what the demon looked like i did very briefly DM, can you describe it? Because I didn't have to describe it. Uh, it was it. like very fair. Like it was uh, feral. Skin, 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 skin kind of clung to its bones. Like it, it was not very like fleshed out. Like this looked more uh, like a beast than a than a human. Honestly, like this thing, uh, very sallow, sunken in skin, uh, wild hair, uh, claws, and and uh, long nails on its feet. Just very much. Uh, Kind of bony in appearance. Have you ever heard of the things that the Russians speak of? The werewolves. What is Russia? <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's just across the um, Bay from Akai. I I, I, would we know that? Yeah. Uh, Japan, which, I mean, it depends on... War with Russia in 1914. I, 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 I mean, am... yeah. I mean, it, well, it, it... Early 1900s. Yeah, like early 1900s. Um, I mean... <sighs> Depends on how caught up like everyone is on world history versus like national history. Like Reikoku is actually like from an area in and around like the the province of Hokkaido, so he's familiar with that shit. But like, yeah. I don't know how would. much the rest of you are because like uh, I would I would presume Daisuke wouldn't be. Kind yeah, of... it's based I, on I, I'd how say rural. With... It's based on how rural you are. If you're less rural. Yeah then yeah you'd probably know because this is like something that's gotten out there but at this point in time communication had gotten a lot better in japan so you have to kind of be hiding under a rock to not know what russia is okay yeah so this is a very uh, big know. war so yeah well oh I, I was like wait there are countries other than ours wait what's we my country? country yeah i was like what is a country but no oh, he, right. he was he looked like a emaciated dog like a dog man. Skin was clinging to his bones, had long claws. It was awesome. Was it a demon dog? Something. And evil. Yeah. Evil, evil awesome demon dog. Yes. Well, it sounds dead. a little bit edgy, but that's more of your taste anyways. Well, it is good to keep your weapons sharp and with a fine horn edge. Okay, so uh, seeing as we know there's like six or seven more of them, all in favor of heading back to the village and giving, and meeting up so we can go full force against all that. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. I, um, I don't. I don't like the four of our chances against six demons. Yeah. What's the um? What's the time looking like in the day? Uh, you all arrived kind of around two thirty. It, it's oh, probably. It's, high noon. it's totally high noon. Uh, it's it's probably closer to like uh 3 3 15 like a lot of a lot of time hasn't passed yeah i'd like to try and scout out a little bit more but i agree we do need to perhaps regroup and formulate a plan i kind of want to go see where it's their origin was maybe we can find that much at least we've killed one of their own once they find out they may Rally the forces and attack tonight. I'd rather know where they're coming from. I mean, I can set wire traps around the area. That'll give us some alert. That would yeah. be a good idea. Let's do that. Um, I'm sure the others are already questioning where their companion went. Yeah. The one, the one place I won't be able to trap is the river. Um, I would like to, like I said, try to trace their steps back if anyone would want to accompany me. I'll join you. All right. Okay, so uh, Tenchi is setting up traps. Uh, Daisuke, are you heading back to gather the group? Like, I guess, like, are, are you all, like, reconvening before all of you go into the woods? Or are you just, like, essentially fetching them to come into the woods with you? Um, I figured we were, I thought we were splitting. No, I mean, I, I get that. Like, I know that you and Asuka are going into the woods to more but i'm saying like is like 
are you all going in to investigate and then going back into the village? Or, like, is Daisuke just fetching the group to, to like, all convene so um, you can then go in the woods after, like, Reikoku and Natsuko finish scouting? I figured we were going back to the village. Best boy we'll Aldini coming through come last back. week for... Yeah, Daisuke, I suggest you go fill them in on how many demons you're dealing with. Move all the villagers to the southwestmost part of the city. If you can. Mm-hmm. Well, there also is that song. The issue is, what about that uh, sound that we were told about? Tie everybody up. I don't think they're going to let us tie everyone up. That also well, then like we escort thinking. them out of the village immediately. Mm-hmm. How far is it? Do we Maybe know we should how walk and talk. I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there. Why don't you walk <laughs> and talk? Yeah, we, we are. Mm-hmm. I went first. So, uh, so, so Asuko and Reikoku, you're going into the woods and then uh tenchi you're setting traps at the entrance uh like i like the edge of the at, the at the edge of the forest at the edge of the forest okay so you're setting like alarm trap type traps at the edge of the forest yeah. uh and then daisuke you're heading back to the village to pick up the team or are, uh, you, yeah. going, or are you going with them into the woods to scout i i would probably uh go with them into the woods to scout just because <laughs> If they, it's better that we have more people if they are scouting, because mm-hmm. yeah, if there's a lot more of them, it's dangerous. All right, so Kazu, ooh, or uh, sorry, Tenchi, uh, just roll me kind of like a general, uh, or actually just roll me a survival check because you're essentially uh, traps. Okay. Uh, and while you do that, I'm gonna pick up with uh, Ikaru and Haruto. Uh, he... I've made Get... it to the village back now. Yeah, y'all have easily made it into the village by now. And have, uh, it wasn't hard to kind of like find someone who knew her. It's a pretty small village. Okay. So they okay. took her home. Um, and you all have been like waiting for oh, your. No, no, no. I wouldn't mm-hmm. be leaving her because I don't necessarily know what's going on. So I would be, I would be following to make sure that I was able to ask her some questions. Okay. So are you, so you and Haruto are, are like yeah. walking with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I would still carry her and everything to the place. Like, I probably would, like, even though they know her, I'm like, yeah, you know, let's let's not move her too much. I'll just... Then I'll go ahead and get y'all over to where they would drop her off at. Okay, uh, so they lead you to all to a house over uh, towards the west side of town, kind of like across the street from the temple. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, it's kind of like a nice small dwelling. Uh, as you all approach uh, a man and woman... Uh, come outside to greet you and upon seeing this uh young girl they burst out into tears and run forward to embrace her and she runs forward to like embrace them like she is or well no you're carrying her so she's just like she kind of squirms a bit i set her down pretty gently uh and she immediately like takes off to embrace them crying together as they are together okay um and after, like, it, it takes them a, a bit. Like, they're crying for, like, a solid three minutes or so. I like that neither of us are actually... Are, I like that neither of our characters, Cody or I, have characters that are especially good at, like, being people people. We're not, we're not good at, like, the subtleties of this. So this is going to be a really fun kind of interrogation. Uh, so they cry for, like, a solid three minutes before, like... Uh... The, the man kind of steps forward and is like, uh, th- thank you so much for bringing my daughter home. Haruto gives a big thumbs up and goes, no problem, happy to, well, I mean, he did most of the work. He's just continuing to be silent and watch this exchange at the moment. Uh, he, he, the, the man, like, uh, gets on uh, he and goes, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, okay. This is new. It's called gratitude. Uh, I hear it's uh, great. You you can stop, please. This is uncomfortable. He 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 stands up and goes as you wish. Thank you. Okay. Uh You may hug me. We... <laughs> may may we come in and have a seat? We would like there's some questions we we have. Uh we'd like to maybe stop this from happening to anyone else uh he he gestures you all inside and, and brings in his daughter wife 
Yeah, the uh, and they all... a question is because he's trying to guess at the right words to say. He's like, am I doing <laughs> this right? Am I doing this right? Is the spirit of Atsuko sitting there saying, yay, keep going? Or like... Haruto, Haruto leans over to Hikaru and goes, you're doing great! Okay. I'm like, I'm trying to channel my inner Daisuke. He seems like a people person. <laughs> uh, as you all are inside, <laughs> really kind of like, <laughs> uh, seated down uh, across from them, like they, they, uh, the wife fixes some tea, and you know, like uh, the daughter sits kind of like between her parents, um, and it's just like, well, uh, you, you, you have some questions. Uh, yeah. Uh, what happened? What did it? And where uh where in the forest was it how did you get to the forest like this is word babble at this point in time he's like just listing he, off, he's listing off the different questions he doesn't realize he's saying them too quickly in, in response in response haruto goes uh, hikaru hikaru uh, uh just one at a time one at, let's start with one at a time what did this to you good it and she like takes a very deep sigh she's like kind of you could tell like at least this much like she's going somewhere that is not this conversation and it is not comfortable for her I uh, gently but she place like a hand composes on her shoulder i gently place a hand on her shoulder and it's like don't worry i'm gonna go kill it she Ooh. uh recoups and just like it was a strange demon um i I was doing the laundry, just making sure I was pulling things in from drying and, and, and getting things set up for the next day, and I heard a noise. Uh, and so I went to, to check it out, and, and I saw other people kind of in this trance, and I heard this beautiful mu flute music, and then I I came to, and I was in this cave. Terrible noises. Okay, you, uh, you, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Like uh, her, her, her parents kind of like do console you, her for like a brief what... second, uh, and the uh, father looks at you and goes, "Is there other? I mean, do you know where? Kind of doesn't really know how to. Do you know where this cave was in the forest? Like if you if you just gave me she, a general she... direction." She doesn't like she's thinking about it, but she's just she has no idea how far she ran for okay. and she doesn't know how she got there. It's okay. It's okay. Uh so she just kinda like turn to... isn't able to provide you all that information. Okay. <laughs> I turn to Haruto, which this is nice to look over at the at the uh names listed over here that you've set up in the server. So I can. My pleasure. Even though I, there's no way he got or remembers it, but now I can at least be like, I'm turning to Haruto. Yeah. Do like, do we have like cotton or something? Like maybe we could get them to put something, you know, noise blocking in their ears at night. This might hmm. at least help temporarily until we're able to wipe out whatever this group is. Oh, he's completely forgotten about the fact that all these people are hearing this. So he may go into detail about how we're going to slaughter all these demons in front of these people because he's forgotten. Just to have Haruto, to DM. Haruto pulls uh, Hikaru <laughs> aside. Oh. And just says, well, let's not go into details just yet. I, I think we might be able to find something if we look around, but let's just... Let's just I'll reassure. Ask. He turns and looks yeah, at them. He's like, "Do you have anything that you could use to like block your ears up at night, like cotton or anything like that?" Uh, if they this noise persists. You wouldn't hear it. They try and think about it, but they can't like come to anything. And then uh, the the wife chimes up. She goes, "I I know that some of the monks at the temple tend to bees. Maybe they have some beeswax." Wow, that's that... a good idea. Thank you. Very yeah, much. that might that might work. Uh, and so she kind of like stands up and and exits the house and like starts heading over to the temple at a m <laughs> more than brisk pace. <laughs> if you hadn't said that, I would have been like Haruto slaps Hikaru on the back and goes, "Let us adjourn to some beeswax." 
Oh, yeah, okay. no, she, the, the, the wife takes off to go uh, <laughs> check in with the I'm glad you said so. He turns, he, uh, Hikaru turns to the father in a jolt of inspiration and goes, where is your village leader, your elder, the person that's in charge, the, over, the magistrate? I don't know what the word is. Who Who's the person that oversees the village? Uh, The elder, he... He stays at the house just not too far up the road, right near uh, Town Hall. Okay. Thank you uh -huh. very much. Thank you for your time. Naruto turns to Hikaru. Shall we? Oh, we, uh, we're, uh, uh, Hikaru's already two steps out the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will pick up with uh, the, re <laughs> the, the recon crew, um, which, I, I, before we do that, uh, Tenchi, what did you roll for survival? I got on a 19. Oh yeah, these are some some A A plus like Fred Jones approved quality traps. Except that they're not probably going to be tripped by like a, a a shaggy man and his dog. Uh, shaggy but quality man. traps. Uh, Daisuke, Atsuko, and Reikoku, how far are you heading into the west to do recon? <clears throat> I'm going as far as the others are willing. How far is everyone willing? I think we should at least um, maybe an hour. <clears throat> uh, I think it shouldn't be long because it is starting to set and we should get back. Agreed. Oh, um, would one of you mind um, uh, helping me dress this? I kind of point to my wound. I don't want the small blood to like tip them off or anything. Mm. Yeah, so I'll make a I'll make a medicine check then. All right. Can... Roll that them there medicine. I was I just said sure I love me and I accidentally muted myself. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, mind. Daisuke, you, you do a passable job. Um, it, it I mean it's not really your area uh but you're able to like just you know uh bandage it you you don't really stitch them up or you just kind of like bandage it um and it looks like it's not bleeding as much as before well i think this should definitely help all right well, um uh what do you what do you think uh god damn it i'm Forgetting names. Otsuko. Otsuko. What do you think? Uh, it's, uh... Would you like to roll medicine? Yeah, let, uh, just let me... <laughs> Make sure Rikoku just doesn't bleed out in the forest. Um... That's also good. 25. Uh, yeah. It, you, you look at it and you're like... Good. You know, it's, it's tight, uh, but... The issue being, uh, the wound was not stitched, so it could definitely coagulate, but it's still gonna be bleeding for a while, so you just kind of, like, very aptly undo the bandages, like, stitch Reikoku up with some, some nice, uh, like, not too painfully intrusive needlework, uh, and re-bandage it with some fresh bandages, uh, and, you know, it, it is not really looking like it's bleeding. Thank you. I never really liked needles. Don't Grandma mention it. Grandmother used to throw them at us. It looks good, though. It's meant for a fine scar. Alright, so... Yeah. Pardon? Huh? Oh, no. Sorry. I thought it was a dog. Sorry. Huh? Alright, so... Uh, again, I guess the question is, how deep are y'all, like, gonna go? Like, right now, you're about 30 feet into the into the dark woods I'd like to go as far as we could but still make it back to the village before nightfall uh i mean y'all have like it's it's like 3 15 like you have at least a good you know four to five hours before it like is gonna get dark dark but um, how how long would it take us um to get back to the village uh oh okay um i'd say we search for two hours and then that way it gives us two and a half to get back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so yeah, everybody roll me an investigation. Uh, or sorry, mm -hmm. Atsuko, Daisuke, and he, uh, Reikoku roll me an investigation. Nope. 
ooh, I hope I get these rolls against my players in an hour. Because there's another <laughs> hit the clip. Fucking goddamn uh, you, huh? 22. Natural 20. Ah. Uh, All right. Well, Hawk, Hawk, Hawk is. It's a 24 total for me. Okay. So 22 and 24 and a 6. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, for Otsuko and, uh, Reikoku, this is rather easy. Like, Reikoku, you got an, a, a look at, like, what the demon prints look like, so you're able to quickly kind of, like, follow them, and Atsuko, uh, using your sense of smell, like, you're able to kind of, like, keep up with them, uh, and, and, uh, notice as well, like, uh, sm like, smell of dried blood, dead leaves, like, things that will, that are leading you all deeper in, uh, and, and, as he's kind of going off of sight uh, and just his intuition, you're kind of like leading by smell. Uh, so you all are able to, I'll say you go about, and, and you, you're moving at a, at a very cautious pace. Uh, you go about like 300 feet into the woods at like a very slow pace. Um, and... Daisuke, you kind of just like fumble along behind them, like you don't really notice yeah. anything, but you, you're not also making a lot of Poor footwork. Uh, you, like you're not drawing attention to yourself, but you just can't notice anything. Um, and you all arrive at this area in the woods that uh, stands out to you a bit, because um, it is this absolutely shrouded area um, where uh there seems to be like this this small like a hole in the earth like it's not like um like it it just kind of seems like this natural cavern that goes down into the hillside um and and and, and the scent of blood here is the strongest let's go <laughs> it's nasty it's very nasty i don't like it that's um, nasty. I would like to go investigate that. What do you yeah. smell with your elven nose? Huh, funny. Just the, it's just really bad. It's it's I I just can't describe it. Um, you know what these canyons remind me of. Oh, we're in a canyon, right? It's a it, it's you're in the woods, but there's a cave, cave. Sorry. over by this hillside. So you think the um things coming from that cave? I don't think. I feel like I know. <laughs> yeah, looking at the tracks, I kind of get the same impression. Yep. Uh, and Reikoku, this close to it, you are able to kind of, like, keep an eye out for the footprints. Uh, you can tell with certainty that uh, there are a total of eight demons. Now that you have dispatched one, you can safely assume that there are only seven left. There's at least seven remaining. Wonderful. That's one for each of you. If you want to look at it that way. Question. Can we collapse the cave? I don't think we have explosives. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, like question, your, your question, thing was question. just... Are you saying that mm -hmm. in character or out of character? In character. Okay, Like, oh, collapse in the cave. Um, also, we totally have explosives. Rikoku just nuked a forest. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 explosives. he He got... He, he rolled a nat 20 on a technique that destroyed a, a few trees like but it wouldn't this is solid rock fair enough like you could try it but more uh, like more likely than not you're going to just alert question demon. question dm question mm -hmm. DM. if he's able to determine how many demons there are in there would he not also be able to determine how many victims are in there that was my next question yeah, yeah. uh yeah you because know, he's immediately talking about blowing up and closing off a cave like, uh, I will what? say, I will, I will say this. Um, right now, uh, you are you, you can see the footprints, um, and a lot of them are old. Um, I'll say this: there are well, we at, least at least five. Set that I kind of want to go investigate there, the there cave. There are at least five know, fresh footprints. Uh, and one of them, uh, you notice that was going into the cave. Uh, Do not assume tell that me that was the, the woman that y'all yeah. encountered. The one that came in. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh. So there there may or may not be four other people alive in the cave. You guys want to scout it out? Stop uh, them. I, the issue, if we go in, the de- see, because it's sunlight, aren't they going to be a little more agitated? Well, we won't know if we find out. Yeah. How about this? Whoever, I don't think I'm good in stealthing in. Maybe I can stay out here just in case any of them do come. Wrong. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. Sounds like Oscar. a good plan. Oscar, do you want to stay out here as well? Your senses are a little more heightened. <sighs> Maybe be able to detect if more demons are coming up. Might as well. All right. Also, only one of I feel like only one of us should be in, you know. Danger going into the scary dark demon pit. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, <laughs> two are staying. <laughs> One. If I if I die, um, same what effects I have to my my siblings. All right, so uh, I need Ray Koku to roll me stealth. Ray Koku, since you have skill with intuition, you can roll with advantage. Could you say that again? Because you cut out. Reiko can roll stealth with advantage, and Otsuko just roll. I got he cut out. God damn it. Otsuko roll stealth, I think you said. Stealth? Yeah, just roll yeah. stealth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just roll. 25. 25, okay. I think it's 23, though. One away from an at 20. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, you all are able to um, creep into the cave, uh, you hear and, the and immediately become victims. As far as you can tell, you have not been detected. Uh, moving into the cave, uh, it goes down for a ways. Um, how far are y'all going to go in? Uh, I think it was just me going in, right? I mean, Otsuko is following you. Yeah, I'm following. Oh, okay, I thought she said she was staying out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Daisuke is staying out. Okay. Two um... goes in. One goes out. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Sorry, I think I meant I'm this to get a little backwards. I was like, hey, stay out here because your senses might pick up someone coming up to us. No. Okay. All right, let's do this then. Um, can I roll investigation to see if I can get any, like, a field cave or anything? Uh, You can certainly, yeah. I will also do an investigation. I'm also glad I have my mask on because I feel like it would really stink in here. Uh, I I mean, the further down you go, yes, it. It's Even just the... awful. Yeah, like Otsko, like you're just like dying right now. It's... I'm just like covering my mouth and nose, trying not to be really sick. I just clip, un- unclip my Oni mask and hand it to her. Just, um, might block out the smell a little bit. Thank you. Uh, so you got a 21 and you got a 20. No, 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 no. That, that was for, um, stealth. I didn't stealth, okay, what's your investigation? 21. Hey. Okay. Uh, both of you with your 21 investigations, uh, this cave is, is, uh, there's not, like, a whole lot to it. It seems to just go down. Um, it's not, like a mine or anything like this just seems to be more of a natural rock formation uh that was more or less probably caused by uh natural uh shifting of earth as well as like you know rain flow um but as you all get down into it um like you start to see uh here um a uh, couple different uh, sets of bones uh, and lo- lots of spots of like dried blood. Um, and you don't see any demons, uh, but you are also like not sure how deep they may be in because you know the 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 less sunlight, the better for a demon, right? Just whisper to um Osco. Really wish we had um Tenchi's uh, wire traps right now. You can say that again. 
Just gonna set traps as we go. Be nice. Make another stealth check. Yeah. Alrighty. For both. Mm-hmm. Um. Twenty-six. Twenty-one again. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. Because the talk. Uh. Wisdom save. Is that sit? He kind of cut out like a little bit towards the end. I heard wisdom. That was it. Wisdom save. Roll a wisdom, wisdom save. save. Okay. Uh, nineteen Walker. Okay. Eighteen. So a nineteen and an eighteen. Had to do my math there, being very slow. Reikoku, uh, and Atsuko, you begin to hear an eerily haunting tune oh, that no. is echoing through the caves. Well, now the Rogue uh, One Army, it was nice knowing you. All around me. Because uh, remember, this feels like it's going after a woman, so... <laughs> Reikoku, you hear the tune and your mind begins to get foggy, but you are familiar with uh things that are designed to uh disorient mislead uh poison you know things that are designed to muddle the mind so you are able to kind of like focus on your training focus on uh the things that normally like you would use to to kind of like break any uh like hypnosis or illusion like you just focus on specific instances or memories and you're able to kind of like bring yourself out of it uh Atsuko, you're not so lucky. Because it goes after the You <laughs> hear this tune. Well, it's because you're old 18, is what it is. Uh, <laughs> you hear this tune. The DC's uh, not suddenly higher because you have a vagina. That's... Yeah. Great! I mean, I, I, I could have been like, oh, yeah, the echoing off the caves. Uh, I mean, but it, it, it was, though. Um, and your mind goes blank. And Reikoku, you watch as Atsuko begins to walk deeper into the cave. I'm immediately wrapping my chains around her arms, and I'm going to try and start dragging her ass out of the cave full speed. Uh, as you go to wrap your chains around her arms, all you hear is, Well, well, well. Seems a little few flies have come to my net. Unfortunately for you, I don't give up my food that easily. And Reikoku, from behind you, you can hear hissing and growling as you turn around, flanked uh, by three other demons. As one demon kind of steps into your viewpoint, uh, and they have these blackened uh, bone spikes kind of protruding from each of their arms, uh, from the elbow out that have holes in them uh and as they are moving you can hear like whistling of wind passing through them and your mind begins to kind of like feel foggy again uh, and he goes now then who do you think you are and that is where we'll end tonight's session because we are out of time shit <laughs> oh no let's continue come on let's, let's god go, let's well, go well, a little we, bit we're, yeah we, we're we're out we're out of time i'm sorry next week no, or not. the week after next we've got more time you're just lying i i'm, I'm really Why? not I got, I got work in the morning all right well forget you we can continue ourselves right guys <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen make sure you check out one piece alabaster bridged episode two please do uh it needs hey, to i saved it the one time was at the end <laughs> uh yes honestly, it needs, it needs honestly your, though if you hadn't ended it there i was gonna use it right then <laughs> Just the, the flute demon walks out, and by the way, the yeah, flute demon walks out and says, and by the way, kids, make sure to check out the One Piece Alabaster Bridge episode two. If you don't, I'll fucking eat you. Oh my God. Well, I'll eat them both. Yeah. Uh, and so will Rimuru, because that's how we roll. <laughs>
Uh, <laughs> so I just love this whole idea, by the way. Oh, look, a deep, dark, creepy cave that we know the demons have gone into. We know that there's seven. We're just going to walk in there with like two people. This isn't suicidal. Two at goes all. in, one comes out. Two comes in, one comes out. No, no, not even two that. Goes in, two goes in, Why one did comes you go out. In? Like, D- yeah, dice- yeah. T- two go in, Daisuke has a panic attack. <laughs> That's <laughs> essentially what's happening. I'm essentially like, like Daisuke, like, uh, why didn't you stop them? <laughs> well, I'm playing my character straight. He's, yep. that is his instincts. Like, all right, I need to scout in here. That's why I thought he was going in alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I get, if I get Otsuko and Raikoku. I won't. Let, Otsuko won't let her teammates die. Like but yes, know. yes. Straight out, ladies and gentlemen. F in chat for Sweet Bean Bun Army. Sweet Bean Bun. We 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 were we were we weren't here long, but we were here. We were strong and we were passionate. And now it's over. It's a- Maybe. Right. Well, Maybe. I, have- Maybe. <laughs> I mean, she's wearing Raikoku's mask, so she'll make a badass corpse at least. Yeah, uh, long live, God damn long it. live the new ship. Uh, <laughs> feral like and formal. Long live ship. the new ship. Feral and new uh, ships came in. Uh, <laughs> like and... Daisuke did say, "Hey, you like there are they are going to be a lot more aggressive." <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but as always, I have been your dungeon master, Walkman EXE. With me are my fantastic and amazing role players, Lady Chan for L A. To be, uh, the Hawker Bridge and Vex 24, Vex Tall 24. And joining us is the amazing guest, Cody Rock VO. God bless you, sir. Uh, <laughs> I do you think you'd be able to make the one in two weeks? In two weeks, unfortunately, not. I will, oh. uh, I'll be in well, Texas. Then, we'll, still. We'll, we'll, we'll then show at up that at point, Lady uh, right. show up with that's Lady right. Chan. You could do it there. That's, yeah. At, at, well, I mean, at that point, uh, with situation, Haruto could have gone for help. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, actually, hold on. What if we do it like this? We since it a- is a two-parter, since it is a two-parter, and you guys are going to be doing your con thing, and that means yeah. we probably won't have Lady Chan as well. Can we pick this up next week, and we'll do anime and stuff uh, that week? I'm in two weeks? When? When is that? That's a uh, that's no no no. Second. That's next December second. Week, next week. Second. Next week. Could we do? So do it on the twenty fifth. No 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 no. no, 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 no. Oh sorry. Next no, the, Monday. Yeah yeah the twenty fifth. Okay okay yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, I mean so the twenty fifth. Uh, let me check my schedule. Hey, I mean if if he's down to like hang in my hotel while we do D and D. Uh, no, I'm not relying on hotel internet. Hotel internet. No, I'll I'll use um not my hotel internet, but we'll bring a. And we've already had bad luck with hotspots. Uh, yes. uh, so no, I, but I can do next Monday. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to. I am actually. Uh, in order to pick up extra hours, I picked up a shift that evening, so I would not be able to do that. Okay. What if we have? What if? What if we? What we'll if see I? You in three uh, weeks, guys. See you Monday? Question mark. Next Monday? Not this nope. coming. Well, to the twenty fifth. I I am working. I just said that. Yeah. No, no, There's the just, second. You think the second? Like, see you the, the second. Call. Oh, the I second. I thought you guys of, said oh, that y'all were doing that. Y'all had if a thing well, okay. The if we have good internet connection at the hotel, can we do it? Like. No. I mean, that's, I can. I can do December second. Uh, actually, actually, I'm gonna supersede this with a no because I'm gonna be far too busy. Okay. Uh, the beginning of December because. There are three projects that I'm having to work on, and I'd rather use that time off. So we will pick that up. Like we December will pick 9th or 16th. The 9th. Okay, the ninth. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, and actually, that that uh, gives me a chance. Uh, Fell, are you free on the second? Like you guys have no idea how much yeah. stuff. Well, lady knows, but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. a lot of you have no idea how much pickups we have to do for the uh, gotcha. Christmas special. Like. There's a lot. Uh, <laughs> then, in, in this case, uh, Fell, if, if you're up for the second, yeah, did we you, can do. Did some... You want to do the D and December? Yeah, let's do that. Let's. Uh... Yeah, let's. Uh, let's make a. So we were planning to do something for D and D December. Uh, one of the sessions might as well just be the first, since obviously uh, we're gonna have to leave this two-parter conclusion. Since ah <laughs> i'd yeah, rather do it to... next week but you're working walker so that's i what? i i need money I'm... uh I yeah but, okay we... emergency situation if 
if you find out that you're uh, not able to do those hours, we will immediately do it. We will immediately change back to that Monday. Okay. In if the I'd... off chance that it, in the off chance that you end up getting free time, we'll just do the D and D game that way. Guys, just be prepared for both. Like either we're gonna be doing it next Monday or we're doing it on the ninth. Just be prepared for both. That's all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I don't trust Cody, hotel Cody internet, and I do not trust like Fat Dog in entirely nice. with all its technical problems. Yeah, what about spots. a hot spot? Oh, I was gonna say, what about if I use a hot spot on my phone? D d again, mm -hmm. again. I know. I heard, Welcome I heard. to Fat I'm... Dog Studios, where technical issues abound. <laughs> here's how bad. Here's how bad they are. I wasn't here the first forty minutes of the game because my computer decided to update and then crash. This is how bad Microsoft is. They. Their update corrupted my computer. I had to re system restore a I month know. ago. Oof. Yeah. So, uh, there but, you go, but, ladies and gents. <laughs> Fat Dog right. Technologies. Fat Dog Technologies. Right. So then, uh, let's end it here. We'll see you guys in... Yeah, we'll know. see you guys next Eventually. time. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Let's well, say well, that. Well, well, Follow us on Twitter and stuff. We'll have an announcement when we yeah, we'll have an announcement. I just love the idea that he was like, thanks to all my amazing, and then he lists all of you, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just a regular dude. I know. <laughs> oh, and Richie. <laughs> I, 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 I said Richie Roberts VO. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that at all. I, I heard everybody's it. name but mine, and I was like, you know what? This actually makes me happy. I'm okay with just being the regular <laughs> okay. dude. I'm actually okay, <laughs> okay. with not being fantastic. A hinged sliding and revolving barrier at the entrance to a building room or vehicle in which... Oh, I get it. Jared's talking about a door. Doors. Yeah. A door. You, how, how, you know, oh. though, I should have known oh. it'd be trouble because a cave is nature's door. Uh, that is true. Uh, we could plan it for... The, we could still plan it for two weeks if you guys wanted to meet up and do it at Eva's house. She lives in Dallas. Uh, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So do it on the second? She's 10 minutes Ava. in the hotel, so we could hey, do it on Ava. the second. Yeah, Ava, oh. I need to talk to you. Um, I need to figure out which hotel is 10 minutes from you. That would be great. Just, just follow us on Twitter. We'll announce when we... <laughs> on Twitter I because... All caps. We I got a logistics in Dallas. This. I didn't know! Okay. Yeah, we're we're going to have to logistics this. I know this, where that so is. Right outside we'll, of the... We'll, 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 yeah. I know we'll, that we'll, we'll, we'll talk. We'll talk about it off stream. All yeah, right, guys. Twitter, yeah. Or check Twitter. Check, check Twitter. Check our Discord. We'll announce then. Also, All make right. sure while you're at it to check One Piece Alabaster Bridge episode. Two. Damn it! He got another one in on me. <laughs> end the stream. End the stream. <laughs> I'm the one in charge of the stream. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! All right, everyone, bail. 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 Ah! bail. bail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do have a big <laughs> question to ask. After water. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we can ask it when the stream oh, ends. Oh yeah, goodness! Okay. So thank you guys so much. Uh, once again, holy crap, Salty Rick. Uh, I mean, if you're just gonna, like, thank you just for all the stuff. But yeah, uh, thank you for helping us immediately reach the funds that we needed for. Um, I I almost said Project Cave again. I'm like Log Horizon Bridge, Alabasta, or no, 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 Alabasta Bridge, Log Horizon. No. <laughs> they, abridged abridged we've abridged so much it's abridgedception <laughs> no uh log horizon abridged christmas special hope you guys are looking forward to it we'll be coming out on the 24th it's a long one here's what i'm gonna tell you we haven't you even the put the final portion? scene together we have not even put the final scene together and it's already over 20 minutes yeah holy shit guys you're in for a treat it's going to take a while to upload, and then we're going to try and premiere it. So. Nice. Woo, we will have a backup just in case. We will have a backup on um, on our website just in case of any copyright issues. But, yes, uh, we are putting up a 20-minute, 20 20-plus-minute 20 video that we hope you guys are looking forward to. Holy shit, it's so... Uh, we've... We've seen it in just its, like, base raw form, and it's really funny. So we can't wait for you guys to see it. And you guys have already gotten a clue because we've had some floating heads that we've played around with on chat. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. All right. 
Talk to you later. One Piece Alabasta Bridge, episode two. Woo! Go watch it. And, uh, oh, uh, Slime 2 is up on the website for people that were curious about that. Oh, by the way, we have a website. If you didn't know, we have a website. Fat Dog go check out the website. Com. Go check out the website and go check out all of the crazy pictures that we have from AWA. And that's not even all of the yeah. ones that we have so far. We're still waiting on stuff that's on there. I'm going to go see if Calvin's still playing Destiny 2. And we're going to go hang out with him and level him up. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye, everybody. Watch one piece. Bye-bye. The actual show, not just our abridged. Watch One Piece.